This is a complete Amazon FBA product research tutorial. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know on how to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon. I'm even gonna show you multiple different products that I find live on this YouTube video that you can take, you can use, and you can start selling on Amazon. And using these techniques that I'm gonna show you in this video, I've been able to do over $7 million in online sales. In fact, I found one product that's made me over $1.3 million dollars using a product research technique I'm gonna show you later in this video. And make sure to like this video because this is the most complete Amazon FBA product research guide on the internet right now. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how much money you can make on Amazon and why Amazon is such a big opportunity. After that, you'll see real success stories and I'll give you a checklist you can use to find your product. Then I'll give you seven different step-by-step -step methods to find your passion product. We're also gonna go over the latest trends and I'll show you what categories are hot right now. I'm then gonna take all these techniques and find multiple profitable products live right here on this video. And I'm gonna share everything I've learned over the last 10 years of being an entrepreneur. So make sure to watch this entire video because at the end, I will share my three biggest secrets on how to guarantee success on Amazon. Now, one of the big questions that I get is, can you still make money on Amazon? And, and how much money can you make? And so one of the things I like to do when people ask me like, well, how much money can you really make on Amazon is go to Amazon themselves. And if we go to Amazon and we go into the best sellers, this is something that's just fun for me to do every once in a while. You can see a lot of the different products that are best selling products in all over the different categories. So here's the best selling products in beauty and personal care. And let's pick this product because I think they've actually got good branding. It's actually a really interesting story. I'll talk about this story later. But let's look at this product. And as you may know, you can find out how much any product on Amazon is making. You go up here to this Helium 10 Chrome extension, and then you click on the X-ray tool. And you can see this product's making over a million dollars. And this is per month, a million dollars per month. Now, I'm not saying that your first product's gonna be a million dollar per month product. Another way that you might wanna double check to see how much any product on Amazon is making, you can scroll down to the best selling rank number right here. And you can see this is number two in beauty and personal care. Wow, I mean, that's pretty high. You go to the free Jungle Scout sales estimator tool, paste that in there, put the marketplace United States and put the category, which is beauty and personal care and click estimate sales. I mean, this is an insane amount. This is selling over 100,000 units per month. You'd multiply that by the cost of the product up here. And we can see that's about the same. It's like 1.7, 1.8 million dollars in sales. Now, Obviously, these products are established products. They're big products. I'm not saying that you're gonna make that same amount of money, but let's look to see the second question is, can you still do this or is it too late? And this is where I like to go to the new releases tabs. And as you're scrolling around the new releases tabs, you'll see a lot of products that are newly released on Amazon. And these are some of the categories, but you can look at some of the other categories here. And one of the categories that I like to look at is pet supplies. And Either later in this video, at some point, I'll be showing you uh, which categories you should actually be selling in. The product right here, the first product, look, it's got seven reviews, three and a half stars. We're gonna find out how much money this product is making. Let's scroll down to the best selling rank number. But before we do that, I wanna point something out. This product was first available June 3rd of 2023. It's only been around for a little over a month. Uh, it's, it's got, I mean, it's got a decent main photo. It, it doesn't have the best branding. I think we could definitely do better branding here but this product hasn't been on Amazon for a long time. So it's not like it's a big player that you'd be competing with. In fact, their reviews aren't even that great. So we probably, I would argue we could make a better product, especially considering if you follow my passion product formula, you're gonna get more than seven reviews within your first month. But still, despite this, let's see how much money this product is making in sales. So we'll paste that in here. We'll change this to pet supplies. Click estimate sales in 8,000 units per month. 8,000 times $19, we got over $150,000 per month. Now, again, I'm not saying that your first product on Amazon, you're gonna be making $150,000 per month, but I am saying it's possible. There's a lot of people doing crazy numbers like that. And if you follow all the steps that I'm gonna be talking about today in this video, then you might be one of those people. You might be able to do some of this stuff. So let's talk a little bit in depth about why I think Amazon is such a good opportunity. And one of the biggest reasons why is because retail e-commerce sales are growing like crazy. 
people are buying things more and more online every single year. We can see in 2023, around $6 trillion, that's 6,000, this is in billions, $6,000 billion or $6 trillion are spent online. It's projected to continue to grow every single year. The number of people buying things online is continue is, is expected to continue to grow every single year. This is old information, but this is still going to continue to grow every single year. And that's not surprising. Uh, we've all seen this. We've all started buying more and more things online. But the question is, where are most people buying things when they're buying things online? Amazon. Around 50% of all e-commerce sales happen on Amazon. I look at my own purchase behavior. I almost never buy things unless it's on Amazon.com. If, if I have to go to a website, I'm just not going to do it. So if I'm buying everything from amazon.com, I think it makes a lot of sense to sell my products on Amazon. Now, if you follow the method I'm gonna be sharing throughout this video, you can sell this product, your product, not only on Amazon, you can also sell your product on your own website, you can sell it in retail stores, you can sell it all over the place, but amazon.com is the easiest place to start selling. Amazon last year did $500 billion in sales. That's an insane number, $500 billion in sales, and there's over 200 million prime customers. There's actually over 300 million prime customers in the world. This number's continuing to grow every single year. You can actually see, yeah, that's from 2020 where it was 200 million. It's now 300 million. So these numbers are even a little bit outdated. Now, one thing I wanna make clear, a lot of people think that all the products being sold on Amazon is Amazon selling their own products on the website, and that's not true. Two thirds of all the sales on Amazon are from third party sellers. That's people like you and me selling our products on Amazon. Now the big question that we'll be answering in this video is, well, how do we find those products to sell? And one last thing I wanna make clear is Amazon's revenue is growing every single year and there's been over 200,000 sellers that are making over $100,000 per year. So this isn't like a, a fringe thing. This is a very common thing that a lot of people are having success with. And my goal in this video is to help you to have success. And my name is Travis Marziani for anyone that's new to me, this channel, anything like that. And I help people build Amazon FBA businesses that they love, that makes them passive income and gives them freedom. That's the, the key here. I wanna help you. My, my goal, my mission in life is to help as many people as possible to experience freedom, to not have to go into a nine to five job because I'll actually uh, talk a little bit about my story in a second here. Here's a little bit about my credentials. I've been doing this for over 10 years. I quit my corporate job over 10 years ago. I've done over $7 million in online sales. I have over 13 million views on my YouTube channel where I share e-commerce stuff and I've helped over 8,000 students build their own Amazon FBA business. So I've been doing this for a little while. I've, I've not only done it myself and I've repeated it myself, but I've also taught other people how to do it. And that's because I have a formula, a formula that works that I'm gonna be sharing with you throughout this video. So how did I do it? Let me give you the quick version for anyone that doesn't know. And out of college, I got a corporate job. I hated my job because even if I worked my butt off, I was only gonna get a 3% raise at the end of the year. And here's a spoiler. If you have your own business, if you are your own boss, you can double, triple, quadruple your income. The harder you work, the more money you're gonna make. The smarter you work, the more money you're gonna make. When you're working from someone else, all that energy you put into the job, they take, they profit from, and they may give you, they may throw you a couple pennies, but that made me really depressed. It, it actually was one of the lowest moments of my life. I've talked about this a little bit before, but it really, it kind of, destroyed me and I didn't know what to do. And that's why I ended up, this is actually a real picture from when I quit my job, the last day. You know, I grew up in Los Angeles and I was flying into Flint, Michigan every single uh, week. And you can see the snow on the ground and I was miserable, gray skies every day. When I finally quit my job, I felt, felt like, oh my God, here's my ticket to freedom. I'm gonna, it's gonna be easy sailing from here. I started a dance clothing, an online dance clothing company with my mom, but it struggled. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to create this YouTube video, why I decided to create this, uh, this channel. This is because I spent years and years struggling trying to make money online until I, in fact, I even moved back in with my parents at one point and I felt like a total failure. Like at the lowest, it, it, you have to imagine as someone that got a really good job and everything was going well, I quit my job, I tried to start an online business and I had to move back in with my family. Uh, it was a struggle and I realized that I had to change something. I had to try try something different. And I wanted to create a product that I was actually passionate about. And I also realized, and I saw, I started to see how big of an opportunity selling on Amazon was. 
And so using the principles I'm going to be sharing with you in this video, you're going to learn how I was able to, within two months of launching my first product, my first passion product on Amazon, I was able to be making over a hundred thousand dollars per year passive income. Literally two months after launching my first passion product on Amazon, I was hitting this goal. You'll see the snowball effect. If you do it correctly, when you're selling on Amazon, you're gonna to start to get a little bit of sales and then more and more and more sales and your, your sales are gonna grow. This is a month when I was selling on Amazon and you know $30,000 in sales and that $30,000 in sales was over $10,000 in profit every single month. And in my first year selling on Amazon, I did over $120,000 in profit, $360,000 in revenue, $120,000 in profit. Total so far with this company, I ended up selling this company, but it's done over $1.3 million in sales, $500,000 in profit, and it's been passive. That's the greatest thing. Uh, and one of the cool things about this is when you grow an online business, you can sell it, get an exit, make a bunch of money and, and walk away. And so I just want to make a comparison here. This was me. I was making around $60,000 a year, pretty good money, working 50 hours a week. I was miserable. And then here's me. Literally, uh, I was traveling around. This was at the peak of my first passion product business, making over $100,000 a year, working around four hours a week, some weeks not even. And don't get me wrong. It does take some hard work to get your business up and running, but four hours a week to be making six figures, being able to live wherever I want, it was freaking this was the dream. This is why I want to share this with you guys. And so to date, I've done over now $7 million in online sales. I've launched a number of different brands. I'm still partnering with more brands uh, and launching new brands all the time on Amazon. In fact, this year, I'm planning on launching a bunch of new products, a bunch of new brands on Amazon, because I do think it's a really amazing opportunity. So now just to fast forward a little bit, I went from making $60,000 a year, working 50 hours a week to this last year, did $1.3 million, which is insane. Like I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. I, you know, and it did take time. I'm not saying this is an overnight success, but I'm saying it's possible. It would have been impossible at my corporate job to be making $1.3 million in a year. And again, only working about four hours a week. Now, sometimes I work a little bit more, but when I work now on things, when I work, quote unquote, it's because I love it. It's because I'm excited. It's not because I need the money. It's not because, oh, I can't pay the bills if it's not, it's because it's fun for me. So really, I don't even know if I do four hours of work a week because everything I'm doing, I'm actually enjoying. Uh, I remember what it was like to wake up and not want to go to work. And now the feelings like I wake up like Monday morning today, I wake up and I'm excited and I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be a challenge. It's invigorating. It gives me energy. And that's my hope for every single person watching this video. For you right now, my hope is that you can start a business that you're passionate about, that you're excited about. And I'm going to be showing you how in this video. So here's just some of my travels. Uh, and you can do this too. And here's how. And let me do a, an example that's not me. I helped AJ start a business called Cocktail Cards. And we'll be talking a lot about this throughout this video. And AJ did product research. I'll show you later in this video how he did product research. I helped him do product research. I knew that he was passionate about cocktails and I helped him find a product that took that passion and turned it into profit. His first month on Amazon did over $50,000 in sales, over $20,000 in profit. And in his first year in total, he sold on his website, he sold on Indiegogo, all these different things. In his first year, he did over $500,000 in revenue, over $170,000 in profit. He actually made more money in his first year than I did. And that's honestly, at first, you know, that made me a little bit envious, but at the same time, it made me so excited that I was able to, to share this with someone and they could actually have better results than me. And that's my hope for you, is that you make I don't more money than me. I don't claim to be special. I don't claim to have some kind of special ability that you don't have. In fact, my whole purpose of making this video is to show you I don't do anything different than what you can do. So Brent is another example. Brent freaking crushed it. Last year alone, he did over a million dollars in sales. It was his second year selling on Amazon. He's done a total of $1.8 million in sales selling a product we'll be talking about later in this video as well. He's another student of mine. He's got a crazy cool story. He actually, well, I think he still might have a full-time job just because he loves his job. He's a full-time helicopter pilot, first responder. He has a family of four. I mean, whatever excuses you might have about not having enough time, Here's a guy that's got a full-time job and has two beautiful kids, still was able to do over a million dollars last year alone in sales. Here's another example. Andrew did $147,000 for one of his products. We got uh, Mina, who his first year, he did $250,000 in sales, 
50, almost $50,000 in profit. Actually, nowadays he's doing over a hundred thousand dollars in sales, $30,000 in profit. Like this is a guy, he started with $1,500 with his first Amazon business. Now he's doing $30,000 in profit a month. So again, if you have an excuse, I don't have enough money. I didn't mention it earlier, but AJ, he had $0. He raised all the money he needed using Indiegogo. We'll be talking about that later. Mina had $1,500 and he was able to raise that money or he was able to start his business. We got a bunch of other success stories. All the products that are behind me, the, all the products over here, these are success stories. So this is possible. This isn't some crazy thing that whatever, only millionaires can do. But let's talk about now good products. What kind of products should you be selling versus bad products? What kind of products should you not be selling on Amazon? And this is the first thing you need to understand. In a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to actually find a product. But the first thing we need to establish is some ground rules on bad products versus good products. Bad examples, bad products, things you don't want to sell, you probably should avoid is products under $15. So here's a product, it's being sold for $9. And the problem is when you sell a product for $9 on Amazon, you have a lot of fees and costs. First, you have the, the product costs and you're gonna to have to subtract that from your revenue. So for every product you sell, you gotta subtract your product costs. There's also a 15% Amazon fee, an Amazon selling fee. Every product that's being sold on Amazon, whether it's FBA or FBM, which I'll talk about what that is a little bit later, no matter what it is, you have to sell, you have to spend that 15% fee. So you got to subtract that out as well. Then after that, you have to subtract out your shipping costs. Now, if you are using FBA, which stands for fulfilled by Amazon, you're going to have to pay the FBA fee. And that's the fee for them to pick, pack and ship your product from the warehouse to the customer and they charge money for that because they got to charge for postage. They got to charge money for the handling, the, the storage in the facility, all that kind of stuff. So you have to subtract that out as well. Now, if you are shipping it yourself, it might end up costing you around the same amount of money and you're still going to have to pay for shipping. So you're going to have to subtract that out. Then there's just other random expenses and other random business fees. And you can see that if you're selling a product for $9, it very quickly can add up where you don't, you're not left with a lot of profit. But if you're selling a product for $15 or more, it helps to give you better profit margins. I think the sweet spot personally is around $25 to $30 because you also don't want to sell products that are over $85. If a product's over $85 and, and there's there's times where this isn't always true, but generally speaking, if a product's over $85, it's not an impulse buy. It's not something that people are gonna to go to Amazon and just quickly buy. They're probably gonna to wanna to do a little bit more research. Now, I'm not saying you can't have success if you sell a product under $15 or over $85. I have a student, Troy, who sold a product under $15 and he had a ton of success. It was one of my most viral videos. It's got This video's gotten over a million views. Uh, I'll put a link to that down below. But he, for example, was able to make pretty good money selling a product under $15. Uh, Brent with Searpro sold a product over $100 and he was able to do over a million dollars in sales. So don't take this as rules brought down from God. These are just general things. The people that I've seen that have the most success tend to be selling products between $15 and $85. You really want to avoid competitive products as well. If there's a ton of people like a can opener here, there's so many freaking can openers on Amazon. I do not recommend selling another can opener unless you have something very unique, a differentiating factor, which let's be honest, most people do not. Most people are trying to sell the same generic products over and over again. You also don't wanna sell products that don't ship well. And this could be products that are heavy or products that might break. And here's an example of a, uh, one of my first products, a nut butter product, and this is my first passion product, and we would sell it in pouches, but people kept asking for jars, so we decided to sell it in glass jars because I don't want plastic. I don't want you know any of that junk or those chemicals, and so we sold it in glass jars. What would happen? The jars would break. They would leak. There was tons of issues. You also want to avoid things like chocolate because or anything that might be meltable because if it melts in the summer, that could cause a lot of issues. So let's keep going here. And another thing you wanna avoid is seasonal products. So a lot of people think that, oh, well, I'm gonna sell Christmas decorations or Halloween decorations or something because they, they do the product research, which I'll, I'm gonna be showing you later in this video how to do the product research. They do the product research maybe during this, that season and they're like, wow, this is such an amazing opportunity. But what they don't realize is that, that you're not going to be making money passively all year round. In fact, you're going to have to buy a ton of inventory and you might sell out of that inventory, uh, which could cause issues, or you might be stuck 
you might buy, let's say you buy 10,000 units and then you only sell 5,000 units. Well, what are you going to do with the other 5,000 units? You're gonna have to pay for storage until the next season. Now, again, I've seen people that have had a ton of success selling seasonal products. So all these rules are like what I've seen as the best, uh, the best things, what things you should do, what things you should avoid. But sometimes you can find an exception to the rule. And I, you know, definitely follow that. So let's keep going here. So we have uh, some good products to sell. I always recommend selling premium products. You don't want to be the cheapest product. You want to be the best freaking product on the market because what happens is you get better profit margins. And I'll uh, talk later about comparing the profit margins on a premium versus a non-premium product. But trust me, it doesn't cost that much more money to do powerful branding, but you can charge a lot more money. And I mean, imagine this product right here, my, my first passion product, Performance Nut Butter, versus some generic peanut butter. This product looks, I was selling this product for $28 for a 10 pack versus peanut butter for the same kind of thing would cost like $7. And that's the power of branding. That's the power of marketing. Obviously my ingredients were also better, but my ingredients didn't cost double, triple, quadruple what the ingredients for a peanut butter did. It was because of the branding. So I want you to think about that. Another thing is you want to be the first one to market. A big mistake a lot of people make is they make uh, they they create products that are products that are already existing that are already out there and they try to make a, another one of those type of products. You don't want to do that. You want to be the first one in your category. You want to be a category of one. I was the first premium paleo keto nut butter product on the market. Uh, this product right here, cocktail cards, was the first cocktail flashcards. This Sear Pro was the first torch product that it wasn't a small torch. Yeah, you've probably seen like the small torches for like cream brulee. It wasn't a large torch for like burning down. Uh, like I've seen torches where people are burning down like shrubbery. It was a medium sized torch and it fit a very special need. So let's keep going here. Um, some other good examples, evergreen products. What are things that people need all season long? So a fitness equipment could be a little bit, I mean, fitness equipment, people buy more of in January, February, but more or less all year round, people are buying this. Pet supplies is a great example of this because people always love their pets. They're always buying you know, things for their pets. Doesn't matter if it's January, February, March, April, May, June, doesn't really matter. People are gonna wanna buy dog beds. Um, so yeah, here's some different good examples of products. Here's some of my students' products that I haven't really talked about yet that I'll be talking about later as well. Some other good examples that I've talked about in my videos these products will be going into depth and I'll be sharing these later. Some different bad examples. All right, so let's put five minutes on the timer and let's see how many products that we can find. And the tool that I recommend more than any other tool on this platform is the magnet tool. Now, before I show you how to use that and before I actually start the timer, let me explain really quick what Amazon is and how to actually do product research in, in a, a much more in-depth way because Amazon is freaking just a search bar. People go to Amazon to search for things that they want to buy, like Energy Booster, for instance. People search this and then they look at all the products that show up. These are all the search results. And the goal here is if you can get your product to show up at the top of the search results, people are most likely to click on it and buy your product. And if people are gonna be buying your product, then you're gonna make a lot of money, not surprisingly. So we need to figure out what things people are searching for in Amazon, and also what things people are searching for in Amazon that we could actually show up at the top of the search results. And the way to do that is using this magnet tool. So let's look at Energy Booster. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do when we look at this is we can see how many people per month are searching for Energy Booster. So over 500 people per month are searching exactly Energy Booster. Now, that's not even including people that are searching for like Energy Enhancer or other things that are related to that. But Energy Booster alone, over 500 people per month are searching for that. Now, what I recommend doing when using this tool is to sort everything by the Magnet IQ score. This is basically a score of how good of an opportunity Helium 10 thinks that these search phrases are and how good of an opportunity these search phrases are for you to make them into a product. And what you can do next is you go down one by one and you look at these. So testosterone cepionate. I don't know what that is. It looks like steroids almost, but um, it is 
something that there's already people that are being, it's already being sold on Amazon. I would not recommend it. Now, one trick you can use when looking at this is this title density thing. I'm going to be talking about that later in this video. This is maybe one of the most powerful features of this product, but we'll save that for later. And let's go down Tylenol extra strength. You're not going to sell Tylenol extra strength. And you're going to go one by one looking at all these. And what I recommend doing, you can take this down here, put it to 150. That way it shows 150 results. And earlier I was looking through this and on page two, I found something that was kind of interesting. And let's go to this product, melatonin vape. Now, I don't know what this is, but there are over a thousand people per month searching for this product. And what's interesting about this is when we go to Amazon and we search for melatonin vape, there's no products that are like this. There is this nasal inhaler, natural nasal sleep inhaler, but it doesn't say the words melatonin vape. In fact, none of these products are melatonin vapes. There's melatonin gummies, melatonin drops, all these different things. And over almost 2000 people a month are searching exactly for melatonin vape. So you have to imagine if you were to sell a melatonin vape on Amazon, you'd be getting a lot of money in sales because not only would people searching for melatonin vape buy your product, but people searching for things like sleep improvement or uh, sleep pills, sleep, all, all kinds of different sleep help, people would be buying your product. And let me show you another example of how this works. Um, I've talked about this one before and I told you I'd talk about AJ, but AJ, he was a big fan of cocktails and I told him, and he joined my Amazon FBA program, the passion product formula. I'll put a link to that down below as well. He joined my program and he couldn't find a product. And I asked him, I'm like, all right, well, what are you interested in? What are you passionate about? He told me, I, you know, I've been a bartender for 10 years. I lost my job because of the pandemic. I'd like to sell a product that takes my passion for making cocktails and turns it into a profit. So I said, okay, let's put cocktails in Helium 10, click get keywords, follow this same process down here. Let's go to magnet IQ score and let's start just going down this list. And so again, let's take this, let's put 150. That way it just makes it a little bit bigger. So we went down this list, scrolling, looking at all these different options. And I think it was on page two, maybe page three, maybe four. We found this product, cocktail recipe cards. So I saw that people were searching for cocktail recipe cards in Amazon. But when we went to Amazon and we searched in Amazon, there was no product that was being sold that was cocktail recipe cards, even though over a thousand people per month are searching for that. And you can actually see here the amount of sales that are happening from this over a hundred sales per month are being made from cocktail recipe cards. And now when we go to Amazon, yeah, it's, it's competitive. I don't recommend still selling it because AJ is selling his product and a bunch of copycats did end up coming along. But the cool thing about this is even though all these products copied him, it actually hasn't hurt his sales. His sales have remained strong. And that's because he was the first product in that category. And when you're the first product in a category, even when competitors come in, oftentimes they just grow the entire brand. They grow the entire concept. They grow the entire category. So cocktail recipe cards, that's how he found his product. We're going to go in depth in this video about how to do product research. But if you want to actually dive in even deeper and figure out how to actually create your, your idea into a profitable business, I have the passion product formula. It's my Amazon FBA program because it's more than just a course. It includes over a hundred step-by-step video lessons, which that alone, I could easily charge a thousand dollars, but you also get lifetime access to a weekly Q and a call that I either I, or right now I have AJ actually, um, leading the call every single week. So you can go, you can join anytime you get stuck. Anytime you have questions, you actually have a real live person that's gone through the program. That's had a ton of success to answer your questions. You also get lifetime access to my private Facebook mastermind uh, group and you're going to get a step-by-step -step checklist to start your Amazon business, two free one-on-one -on -one calls with either me or one of my coaches like AJ. You're going to get a bunch of other bonus courses as well. So this is everything that's in my Amazon FBA course. It's a uh, right, you know, if you join within the next five days, it's a thousand dollars. But on top of that, there's a 14 days money back guarantee. So if you join the program, you can join, you can reserve your spot in the next 10, uh, the next five days. And if for any reason you don't love it, you can get 100% of your money back. Just email me within the first 14 days, unconditional money back guarantee. There's even a $1,000 guarantee. 
And this $1,000 guarantee is if you join the program and you don't make at least $1,000 in your first year after launching, if you follow all the steps, you launch a product on Amazon and you don't make at least $1,000 in your first year, I will personally give you $1,000. So there's no risk to this. Like I believe in this program so much that I'm willing to pay you a thousand dollars if you if you if you follow the steps and you don't have success do you need a product research tool i've been talking a little bit about helium 10 and throughout this video we're going to be talking about helium 10 and how to do product research and do you need a product research tool the answer is no you actually don't need to go pay for a product research tool i'm going to show you a ton of free ways to find products to sell on amazon now will it help you to find products will product research tools help you yeah, of course they will. That's the whole point of a tool is to help you to do something that you're trying to do. And the analogy I use is if you're building a doghouse, can you use a rock? Yeah, you don't need to go pay for a hammer. You don't need a hammer to build a doghouse. But guess what? A hammer is going to make it a lot easier and it's pretty inexpensive. So it's usually worth money to invest in tools. But an even better analogy is if you're going to be building a mansion, you might want to invest in some tools. Now, again, do you need to? No, I've found products, I've created products without paying for any tools, but product research software is out there to save you time, to save you from headaches and to make your life easier. And there are two main product research softwares. There's Helium 10 and there's Jungle Scout. So let's talk quickly about the pros and cons of Jungle Scout. So Helium 10 has a free plan um, and I'll, I'll talk about that later on how you can do the free plan. There's more and better tools than Jungle Scout. It provides well-optimized Amazon listings. It has this tool called Adtomic. It has an inventory protection tool. It has monthly pricing and discounted yearly pricing. And it has a seven-day money-back guarantee. And that's the biggest thing I want to make clear. Even if you're on the fence, sign up for Helium 10 for the seven days. You can cancel and get all your money back. You can also use the tools for free for the seven days. And maybe within those seven days, you can even find a product. Uh, Jungle Scout, on the other hand, has the supplier database tool, and this tool will help you to find a manufacturer. And so you may not need to choose between these two tools. You may want to use both of them for a different reason. It also has a keyword research tool that's not as good as Helium 10, in my opinion. It's got this product research tool. It's got uh, it's cheaper than Helium 10. Again, I think you're paying for quality with Helium 10. And the customer service is also very friendly, though Helium 10's customer service is friendly as well. So cons with Helium 10, it is a little bit more expensive. Not if you use my discount code, though. It's, it's actually cheaper than Jungle Scout. Uh, Helium 10 can be a little less beginner friendly, but don't worry. I'm going to be showing you how to use Helium 10 and how to use uh, how to get the most out of it. And their mobile apps, not exactly the best. Cons, Jungle Scout doesn't have a free plan. It, it has less features compared to Helium 10. No launch tool and the data is just not as accurate. So this is what Helium 10 looks like. This is what Jungle Scout looks like. And if you guys want, I can show you what this looks like later in the video, some of the behind the scenes. In fact, we're gonna be showing you a lot of the behind the scenes of Helium 10 later. So both these tools are gonna to make your life easier, but which one is the winner? And I think it's pretty obvious at this point, Helium 10. And I have a huge discount code for Helium 10. If you click on the link down below in the description, you can get a discount on Helium 10. But if you want the best deal that you can find, and this deal is so good, Helium 10 actually wouldn't let me add it to this video. But if you join my $1 Amazon FBA product research challenge, it's a five day challenge. You'll get access to the best price you can possibly get on Helium 10. And there's a link to join the five day challenge down below. And when you join my five day challenge, not only are you gonna get some extra videos, including some extra Q and A, from me, including about an hour or two of extra content. You're also gonna get access to a ton of other bonuses like checklists and some sheets that I use throughout this video. So if you want the basic discount for Helium 10, you can click on the link down below. Or if you want the huge discount, join my $1 five-day Amazon FBA product research challenge. Again, Helium 10 would not let me publicly share this link, but when you join the challenge, they said as long as it's behind a paywall, I could share this link. I have a couple action items for you. Um, the first is get Helium 10. I want you to be able to walk through with me using, as I use Helium 10, you can use it as well. The other thing that I want you guys to do is to write down what your goals are. And if you wanna get access to this file, you can click on the link down below to join my five day, $1 Amazon FBA product research challenge and you'll get this document. What happens is when we write down why we're doing something, we write down what our goals are, and we write down what we're willing to do to achieve those, our chance of achieving goals goes up dramatically. So let me go and let me pull this out. 
And this is the outcome purpose action sheet. I put an example here and you can uh, make a copy. So what you, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a copy of this because you can't edit this one, the original one, and you're gonna delete this and you're gonna put your own outcome. What do you want? So I said, I want an extra $5,000 a month passive income uh, from one or two new businesses. So what is it that you want? What, are you looking to make an extra $1,000? Are you looking to make an extra $100,000 per year? In fact, put in the chat, what it is that you want from your Amazon business. Then what's the purpose? What, why? This is the why. What will an extra $5,000 do for you? What will an extra $100,000 do for you? I said, it'll allow me to live my dream life. Maybe it'll allow you to quit your job. Now here's the key. Now that we have, we know what you want and we know why you want it. We need to talk about how you're going to get it because you don't get anything in life without doing some action. You don't get it for free. So I have here that I will spend 15 minutes every other day working on this. I will learn how to uh, edit videos where I'm on camera, whatever it is for you. I would say for you, I'm gonna, uh, you should make the goal of every single day to write down one idea of a product that you might be able to sell on Amazon, that you're gonna spend 15 minutes every day or every other day doing product research, using these tools. Write down exactly what you're willing to trade for this this thing that you want, this outcome that you want. Now we're gonna talk about the seven different product research methods. And these are all the methods that I know about to find products. Well, there are a few other ones that we'll talk about later in this video, but let's start with these. And the first one is the keyword method. And we already kind of went over this, and this is where you try to figure out what are the keywords people are searching for in Amazon, and you use Helium 10, again, link down below with the discount code, to find products, you find you find what people are searching first using this magnet tool, and then you can basically figure out, if you know what they're searching, you can make products around that. The next is the best seller method. I'm gonna show you how to do all these methods later, but this is just a quick overview right now. And the best seller method, you go to Amazon, you go to the best seller section, and you, you can look at the new releases, and you can start looking at what are the products that are up and coming that are selling? And there's a little bit more to this than just that. In fact, one of the things that you're gonna do with the bestseller method, let me show you right now. You're gonna go to amazon.com. You're gonna look at the bestsellers and you can drill down into the different categories here. And let's say I was looking at pet supplies. And within pet supplies, there's all kinds of different pets that you can uh, create products for. So let's say dogs. And then you can look at what are the best selling products within the dog category. You can even drill down further and further. And I looked at this one. This is the number one product in the pet supply category, earth rated dog poop bags. Now my question to you is, is there a way that we could make dog poop bags better than this? Maybe better branding. Maybe there's some kind of so something else that we could do to make them better. Maybe not. But what I like to do is look at every single product and try to figure out how could we make a better product or a more niche down product. For instance, let's say you're making something for dogs. Instead of it being for all dogs, maybe you make a product that's just for golden retrievers. So maybe it's dog food specifically made for golden retrievers or German shepherds or whatever. And that's a, a big key here when selling on Amazon is the riches are in the niches. The next tool that we're gonna be using is this black box tool. And the black box tool allows you to basically use Helium 10 to get a ton of different products. You're gonna go over into Helium 10 and then go into tools, select the black box tool, and you can put in some information about the kind of products that you wanna sell. I'm gonna show you how to do all this later, so don't worry if this is just a, a quick overview. You'll put in the information and then Helium 10 will spit out a ton of products that meet your criteria. The next tool that we're gonna use is the Cerebro tool. And the cool thing about the Cerebro tool is you put in here a product that you might wanna sell. You'll put in the ASIN, which stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. And every product on Amazon has their own unique ASIN. You're gonna put that in here. Here's an example one. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna show you what are the things, what are the keywords, what are the search phrases that people are typing into Amazon to find this product? So what I recommend doing is find a product that you're interested in, that you're like, that, you're, that you like, that you're passionate about, put it in here, and then see what people are searching for in order to buy that. Now, once you do that, you can see 
maybe people are searching for something that's not actually that related to that product, or maybe you can do a good job to actually make a product that better fits that search phrase. I'll explain what I mean about this later, so no worries if that doesn't make sense just yet. After that, a free method for finding products on Amazon is the Amazon search bar method. And if you type in the letter A, for instance, we have all these different things here that pop up. This is what Amazon thinks is the most relevant search, what, what you're most likely to type into Amazon. And right now we're just in the category of pet supplies. And we can see automatic cat food dispenser, aquatic pet products, aquarium heater. Now, if we type in the letter B, it says, it auto completes for us what it thinks we're gonna type in. And whatever shows up at the top of this little autocomplete here is the most likely thing that you're gonna search. And we can actually game this. We can actually use this to find products to sell on Amazon. I'm also gonna show you two other free tools, and that is the Google Keyword Planner. And to get this tool, you can sign up for a free Google Ads account, and you're gonna go up to the tools and settings and you're gonna click on Keyword Planner, and then from there, you're gonna click on Discover New Keywords. This tool works very similar to Helium 10, except for it's free, and a big difference is it actually shows you how much people are searching different phrases on Google instead of on Amazon. So it's not quite as powerful as Helium 10, but it can still be really helpful. And I actually used this tool to find my first passion product, Performance Nut Butter. So let's say we wanted to type in something here like Keto Nut Butter. And we wanted to see how many times per month people are searching keto nut butter. And it turns out it's 590 searches per month. It'll also give us other ideas like peanut butter keto. And so a lot of people are searching for peanut butter, but they want it to be keto. Now, what we could do taking this information is we could make a keto peanut butter product because peanut butter itself is actually not keto. There's a lot of carbs in there. And the way that we would do this is maybe we add some MCT oils, we add some fat. And so this tool, Show, it shows you what people are searching for in Amazon. In fact, I actually use this tool to find a product that I'm gonna be launching in probably a couple months, Jiu-Jitsu flashcards. So if we click get results, we can see it's actually not a lot of people, it's only 30 people a month, but uh, it's something. That means that there are people searching for this type of a product. And the last type of products I'm gonna be showing you how to create are passion products, which a passion product for anyone that doesn't know is basically a product that's unique, it's different, it's better than the competition, it has good branding, and ideally, it's a product that you're passionate about, that you're excited to sell on Amazon. And uh, you can use all these different methods that I'm gonna be showing you in just a minute here to find a passion product, but there's also some other methods that I'll be talking about later. And this is my first passion product, as I mentioned earlier, Performance Nut Butter. I've since uh, launched a lot of other products and I've helped other people launch a lot of products. With that being said, let's get into how to actually do product research. And the first step, as I mentioned, is for you to sign up for Helium 10, link down below. But once you've done that, you're gonna log in and we're gonna go in depth. Let's talk a little bit more about the magnet tool. And I'm gonna show you a thing that I mentioned earlier, which is the title density feature. And once you understand this, finding products on Amazon is gonna become a lot easier. So something that I was kind of interested in that I was searching for on this tool the other day was hearts, hearts of palm. And once you've put in what you're searching for, you're gonna go in and you're gonna sort this by Magnet IQ score. And as I mentioned, Magnet IQ score is basically how good of an opportunity Helium 10 thinks the product is. And we're gonna click on this to show 150 results per page. And when I was going through this list of possible ideas, I stumbled upon this artichoke spaghetti. And when we open this up in Amazon, there is heart of palm pasta spaghetti, but there's no artichoke pasta or spaghetti. So that right there is an idea. There's a lot of people searching for artichoke spaghetti, but there's yet no products like that. So that might be something, and who knows, this may not even be a feasible thing to do, but now that you have this idea, you can start going and looking for potential products. As I mentioned, one of the more powerful filters here is this title density filter. And what this does is you can put in here how many products that show up in the search results that'll have this search phrase in their title. So 
if we put, for instance, zero in zero, and that's what I recommend doing, we're telling Helium 10 only show us search phrases that have a title density of zero, or basically only show us things that when people go to Amazon and they search for it, none of the products have that word in their title. So let's go ahead and click apply filters. And this is the secret to finding products extremely easily on Amazon. Now frozen corn, we don't wanna sell anything frozen. That doesn't make a lot of sense. A lot of this is like food that, so Palmini, I think Palmini is actually a name brand. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Palmini is a name brand. We don't wanna sell someone else's name branded products. So let's keep going here. So a lot of these are, because we're in the grocery category, a lot of these are just food and we don't wanna sell generic food, but we could use this as inspiration. So let me show you guys another one I found and that is if we type in mushroom and we're, we're continuing on this whole food trend. We'll put the title density at zero and zero again, click apply filters and let's go down to the bottom and do this. Put in the magnet IQ score. And these Russian pickled mushrooms were something that was kind of interesting. It's got a search volume, it's only 113 search volume. Uh, so this might not be a complete winning product. But when we looked in Amazon, there wasn't really any Russian pickled mushrooms. And so this is something that I find, yeah, there, there could be a potential here. I'm not saying for sure that this would be a winner, but let me show you guys actually one more example of this that I actually talked about in a recent video I did. And that is the carnivore diet. It's something that I'm kind of interested in. I don't know, I might create a whole product line around this. And if we go here, we do the title density as zero and zero, click apply filters, put the magnet IQ score in here, and let's put the results per page as 150. And let's just see what we can find. And so we're looking for a product that we're looking for phrases that people are searching for in Amazon that we can make products out of. And one of the ones I found is this hardcore carnivore seasoning. And let's pull up that product here. And this is, this is a name brand, but it does bring up this idea of maybe we could make seasoning for the carnivore diet. So basically the carnivore diet is a pretty restrictive diet. You can only eat animal products and a lot of seasoning. In fact, I think this seasoning even has things that are not, Th things that are plant-based products, and that's not allowed on the carnivore diet. So we could make a product that's just salt, maybe different types of smoked salt or different things that are approved for the carnivore diet. And just to give you guys an idea of how much this product is making, let's click on it. And if we go to the product and we go up to the Helium 10 extension, click on the x-ray tool, we can see that this product is making over $80,000 every single month. So that's a pretty good you know, revenue amount of money that this product is making. So we can make our own carnivore seasoning, make it even more geared towards the carnivore diet. So the next tool that I'm gonna show you guys is the Cerebro tool here. And to use the Cerebro tool, we gotta go and we gotta find an existing product on Amazon. And I found this product already on Amazon. And the way to find products, just so you know, is you go to the bestseller category and then you can go in here and go to the different, go to whatever categories you're interested in selling on. And in later in this video, in the, in the next section, I'm gonna show you how to figure out what categories you might wanna sell in. I have an entire sheet that I'll share with you. It's got, it's got all the categories, all the subcategories, everything on Amazon. And what I recommend doing is going through that and marking which categories you're interested in, that you'd wanna, that you're passionate about, that you'd wanna sell a product in. And so we might wanna go into something like, let's say pet supplies, let's just do pet supplies again. And let's look at dogs. Let's actually look at these poop bags. I think that might be an interesting one. So this is the best selling product in this category. We're gonna take the ASIN and you can get the ASIN up here in the URL or you can go down below and you can come here where it says ASIN. Again, Amazon standard identification number. And we're gonna put that in Cerebro and we're gonna click get keywords. And we're gonna go through here and let's look at the search volume. We probably wanna find products with a max search volume of 15,000. Because if more than 15,000 people per month are searching for a product, there's a good chance that there's already products out there that exist. Um, we also want to 
put 00, 0 for title density. Again, this is because we want search phrases that when we search for those in Amazon, none of the products have those search phrases in the title. That's a good sign that there's not a lot of competition. Uh, and for now, let's just click apply filters. We'll go down here. We're going to click on the Cerebro IQ score and we'll go here and we'll put this as 150 just to make it easier to search through. And let's see what people are searching for in Amazon. Dog Dazer. I don't know what that is. Let's look. Oh, it's like a dog taser. Is Dog Dazer? Yeah, Dog Dazer is a brand name. That's interesting. That's also really sad. Um, not something I wanted to. So Purina Probiotics for dogs. So I'm curious if we were to go into Amazon and type in probiotics for dogs, what comes up? So there are quite a lot of probiotic stuff. Uh, I mean, the branding on this is okay. So this is an example where you could niche down even further. And as I was saying, have probiotics for golden retrievers, probiotics for German shepherds, probiotics for every single dog, like all the major dog breeds out there, because this is very generic. And as I'm looking at this, I don't know if this is right for my dog. I want the perfect probiotic for my dog. Another thing, and I don't know, there may already be something about this, there's probiotics, but is there prebiotics? That's something that is uh, becoming more popular. Prebiotics is, so probiotics is actually like the, the bacteria and stuff and, and helping your dog or yourself have that. Prebiotics is a type of fiber that naturally allows your gut to create it. So there's no prebiotics for dogs. So here we go. Now we're getting some good products here. Let's see what else we have. Z-Dog, Ubi Bags. These are all like brand names, I think. But you can see now that we're, we know that uh, people that are searching for poop bags, they have dogs and we can start thinking about what other things would people want. There's these earth bath wipes, earth rated dog poop bags. Yeah. Dog paw wipes. Let's see. Another one that I found here was this underground dog poop disposal. And what's interesting about this is when we search dog poop underground disposal, None of these products actually say underground dog disposal. There's only really these two products and there's kind of this one here and these listings aren't great. I mean, I click on this, they don't know what they're doing. Like this is not like a professionally ran Amazon listing, but let's see how much this product is making every month and see if this is the type of product that we'd even want to compete with. And we can see that this product's making $30,000 per month, even though their listing is pretty bad. They're not even using the word underground. Uh, and it seems like over 400 people per month are searching the term underground. So as you can see already in just a couple minutes, we've found quite a number of ideas of products that we could potentially be selling. And I would keep going down this list and, and, and go, I would spend a couple of hours figuring out what is the best product that you wanna be selling. Another example of how to use this Cerebro tool is the other day I was looking in Amazon and I needed this, this product right here. Uh, a tear repair kit. And so I was curious, like, what are all the reasons why someone might use this? And it talks about works on vinyl tents, air mattresses, pool liners, all these different things. And so if we go down here, let's get the ASIN number. We take that, we copy it, and we put it into Cerebro. And so anytime you have a product that you're buying, I recommend looking at what are all the different uses of why someone might buy this product. And, and you're gonna know what the uses are based on what they search for. So let's go ahead and sort by Magnet IQ score. And let's do this. And one of the ones I found was air mattress patch kit. And we have over 8,000 people per month that are searching for an air mattress repair kit. What's interesting about this is when I go into Amazon, that this is really the only product here that's, I mean, all these products say that they work for air mattresses, but none of them are branded specifically for air mattresses. You have this vinyl repair kit. But when I look at this listing, if I'm searching for an air mattress patch kit, I want something that shows a picture of an air mattress that makes it extremely obvious that the product I'm about to buy works perfectly for air mattresses. So this is an example of the riches are in the niches. Yeah, this person, let's see how much money they're making. They're probably making a lot of money and they're doing over $70,000 in revenue every single month, actually 160,000. It looks like they have two different sizes. And so when you combine that, they're doing 
$200,000 in sales every single month. But that's because they're selling for vinyl tents, awnings, air mattresses, pool liners, all these things. What we can do is we can take a subset of who's buying from them, which is these air mattress people, and make the perfect product from them, sell this on Amazon, and get a good chunk of their sales because our product's gonna be perfect for air mattresses. The next tool that you can use, and I will be talking about some free tools in just a minute, and the next tool is the black box tool. And this is the tool that you put in some criteria here and it just spits out ideas of products for you. But actually, before I get into that, let me show you guys an example of a free tool that you can use to find products to sell on Amazon. And this is the Amazon search bar method. And if you do have Helium 10 and you start doing this, it's actually really cool because it'll put in, it'll show you different results. So let's put, say I put AJ. This is the autocomplete up here, and then this will actually show you the search volume. But let me turn off Helium 10. Let me assume that you're not gonna be using this tool and show you the free way to do this. So let's say I type in A, uh, and this is actually based on my recent search, the air mattresses. Uh, but most common, if someone types in the letter A, they're looking for like AA batteries or things like that. Let's say I type in the letter AB, above ground pool, ab roller, above ground pool of vacuum, ab, and as I was doing this, I went AC, AD, AE, and all the way at AJ, I saw this Ahi Amarillo paste, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I'm gonna click on that. And there's a lot of different Ahi Amarillo paste, but it, most of this branding and marketing is pretty old school, and it doesn't feel very premium to me. So this is an example of a type of product that you could sell. You create the premium, the best, Ahi Amarillo paste. And this is a type of paste that is used in Peruvian cooking. And once you find a product, if you do have Helium 10, you can come over and you can go into the magnet tool and see how many people per month are searching for this to see you know, what the amount of sales potential actually is. And we can see that over 2000 people per month are searching for Ahi Amarillo paste. And let's look at the top selling product here just to get an idea of, and, and look, Right, the pricing for this is like $7, $7. As I mentioned, there's no premium one. Could you have the $15 Ahi Amarillo Pace? And yeah, you might not make as many sales, but you'll actually make more money, more profit than your competitors. And we can see that this product's doing around $20,000 in sales per month. So that's not a bad start. And also something to keep in mind is, this could be if you have a love for Peruvian food or a love for cooking in general, this could be your first product and then you can start creating other spices and other paste blends. And another thing you could do if you really love this is create a YouTube channel or social media where you show how you use your paste to create different recipes. Another example of using the search bar method is I typed in AJ and then W. And I saw this Ajawan. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I'm like, what is this? It seemed interesting. There's these certain types of seeds. And when I put this in Helium 10, one thing that came out was Ajuan tea and like let's actually put in Ajuan space and when I put in Ajuan space in the search bar one of the things that comes up is Ajuan tea I don't know a lot about this but when I looked in Amazon there was actually there was some products but the branding was pretty terrible and I thought that there's a lot of room for improvement and so this could be an opportunity another product idea so let's actually move on and let's talk about this tool the black box tool. And if you have no idea what you wanna sell, you don't know what you're doing, the black box tool could be helpful. And so what you do is you, you put in the price of products that you're looking, how much you wanna sell your product for. So let's say 15 to 85. And then you would put in here how much money you wanna make. Let's say somewhere between $5,000 and $30,000. And then for review count, I always recommend max 1,000. The lower, the better. You want a low review count and the max rating to be 3.5, meaning that I, you only want Helium 10 to show you products that are making over $5,000, under $30,000, but have a review rating of 3.5 or less. What this means is it's gonna show you products that have bad ratings, but are still making money. And you can come in and you can make a better product. Now, we gotta talk about what categories you wanna sell in. And I'll, I'll share some of these categories. Baby products is a great one. Beauty and personal care can be good, but I'm gonna skip that for now. Uh, clothing, shoes, and jewelry also could be good. Grocery and gourmet food is one of my favorite because food in general is consumable. 
people eat it and they need to buy more and more and more. Uh, we're gonna skip handmade products. That's not a great product to be selling if you're trying to create a passive income business. Health and household, home and kitchen, kitchen and dining, all are great. Patio, lawn and garden, pet supplies. I love me some pet supplies. Sports and outdoors could be a good one as well. We'll skip it for now. And we're gonna click on search. And so this is gonna show you all the products that fit that criteria. So now it's showing us products that fit that criteria. And we have this toilet seat cushion. Um, I, that's kind of boring. I don't know if that's something I wanna necessarily sell. It says I can't find the page. Space Aid Bamboo Coffee Pod Holder Storage. So here's a product that has a three and a half star rating and we can see how much money it's making. And it's making over $17,000 per month, even though it only has 73 reviews, three and a half stars. So what we do when we see this is we go to the one or two star. I'm gonna look at the two star and see why people don't like this product. It says this drawer looks nice, but that's where it ends. The slot for the capsules are a bit tight. Boom, right there, we know that we can make a better product by making the slot for the capsules a little bit bigger. Uh, and you know we can go through all these different reviews. Storage capacity is great. I was looking forward to being able to use this pod storage. The front drawer face broke off within a week. So poor quality. It's not the best quality. We can make better quality. I, another one that says it's already broken. Horrible squeak when opening. So we can make it so it doesn't make noise. We can make it so that uh, the product that we create has uh, bigger slots for the capsules. We can keep going down this list here and we can see what other things we may want to sell. Plant-based egg substitute. So this is interesting. It's a plant-based egg substitute. Uh, and the vegan diet, the vegetarian, the vegan diet specifically is growing. So yeah, this might be something that we wanna look into. Is there a lot of competition for plant-based egg substitute? And there, may, there might be. And if there is a lot of competition, we don't wanna sell that product. So, you know, there, there's a decent amount of competition here. I don't know if we'd wanna sell this because there is so much competition, but the fact still remains that this product, even though it has a three-star review and only 62 ratings, is making money. And it says here that it's making $16,000 a month in revenue, even though it has pretty bad reviews. So this may be something you do a little bit of research in. If you're passionate about the vegan diet, you might wanna see if you could make a better egg substitute. And you just keep looking down this list and keep seeing if you can find anything that would be interesting. And that brings me to the next tool that I wanna show you, and that is the Google Keyword Trends tool. We can type in search phrases and see how popular they are. So let's look over the, since 2004 to present, the vegan diet. And you can see it's actually been growing. Now it kind of peaked in like January, 2020. And it's kind of actually going down a little bit. Let's compare that with another, the opposite end of the spectrum, the carnivore diet. Let's go carnivore diet. And you can see it actually, it kind of peaked 2021. It's actually dropping off a little bit. That's quite interesting. Oh, that's because it's the book. But what if I just do carnivore diet in general? Yeah, that book must have come out at that time. You can actually see the carnivore diet is taking off. This is why I was so interested in selling products in that space. The, the vegan diet's kind of dying a little bit, but the carnivore diet's taking off. And now I'm not saying I support the carnivore diet for ethical reasons. That's a whole complicated topic, but it is helpful for people with autoimmune disease and some other different conditions. So this is something that's a little bit interesting. And you can use this tool, especially when you find product ideas, you can use this tool to test and see, is this a growing trend or a dying trend? And the Google Keyword Planner will help you if you have an idea of something that you're interested in selling. And let's, let's type in carnivore, carnivore diet. Let's get the results and let's just see what happens. So yeah, over 100,000 people per month are searching for the carnivore diet, all beef diet. Jordan Peterson diet, all meat diet, Dr. Paul Saladino. And you have to really search through this and try to see what kind of products. So already I'm seeing the only beef diet. Maybe you could even make a brand called only beef and it's just snacks. It's snacks that are only beef or you can make a brand called only beef carnivore, uh, things like that. Only meat is something here. Lion diet, that's another term I've heard that's similar to, it's basically the carnivore diet. But this will give you ideas of products that you could sell, carnivore foods, 
The last way I'm going to talk about to do product research before we get into the next section is creating your own passion product. And what I recommend doing, and I'm going to give you some tools in just a little bit about how to do this. I recommend you looking around your own life and looking for things that you wish existed that don't exist. Now, it could be food. It could be tools that would make your life easier. It could, you can look at the things that you do every single day and figure out like what would make this task or this thing even easier. And I have some worksheets that I'm going to be giving you guys in the next section that'll really help you to do that. Before I move on to the next section, I do want to remind you if you haven't yet signed up for my five day product research challenge to click on the link down below. It's only $1 and you're going to get a bunch of bonuses. For one, you're going to get the biggest discount on Helium 10 you can possibly find. I can't even tell you how much it is. Helium 10 told me I could only give this to people that join my course. But since this course is only $1, technically I am allowed to give it to you. You're also going to get some other bonuses, including over an hour of extra content from me where people actually came and they asked me questions about product research and I responded to all their questions. You're also going to get a bunch of worksheets, checklists, and different things that are all going to help you to find a product to sell on Amazon and all of that for just $1. So click on the link down below to join the five day product research challenge. Now I will tell you that a lot of content in that product research challenge is the same as this video. But as I mentioned, you're getting a lot of other bonus content as well, including discount pricing on Helium 10 and some other cool things. In this next section, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things, including one of my favorite tools, the idea generator. So if you haven't found an idea of something that you want to sell yet, we're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be talking about some of the trends, some of the big trends that you can take advantage of. I actually have a report that I'm going to share with you that shows some of the biggest trends on how you can make money on Amazon. And if you still don't know what you're interested in, I actually have some tools. A lot of people tell me, I don't know what I'm passionate about. I don't know what kind of products I want to sell. I'm going to be sharing some tools with you that are going to help you out to figure out exactly what you should sell and how to know if your product's actually going to make money. And the first tool I'm going to show you is this idea generator tool. It's a spreadsheet that'll help you to figure out not only what you're passionate about, not only what you're interested in, but how you can turn those passions, those interests into profit, how to actually make good Amazon ideas from this. And I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can use this tool later in this video. But first, let's talk about some of the trends, some of the up and coming trends. And if you want to get access to this file, you can click on the link down below to join my five day $1 Amazon FBA product research challenge and you'll get this document. It's the trend report 2023. There's a lot of different trend reports I'll be talking about. This is one of my favorite ones and they talk about how we're entering a new world of chaos, a new era of chaos and how you can profit from this. And I know that sounds maybe a little bit bad, but how you can help people go and cope through this new era of chaos. And in going through this report, there was a number of different things that I thought you might be able to use to make some brilliant products. And one of the first pages I want to point out is you want to be thinking, how could your brand make its customers lives easier? We're having some of the most chaotic uh, experiences as humans. Obviously things are really great. There's a lot of amazing things, but at the same time, People's things are changing more rapidly than ever before. We have AI, we have social media, we have polarity in political parties. There's a lot going on right now. And you want to be asking yourself, how can you make people's lives easier and better? Another thing that I saw here on page 49 that I thought was interesting is how could your brand better support its customers in their goals? We are a nation of individuals. We are a world of individuals that are starting to have more goals or try, starting to have more ambition? And how can your product specifically help people? Now, maybe you're selling a, a healthy food product or a supplement and you can make it so people feel better. Maybe you're selling sports equipment. We'll, t we'll talk about that actually in just a second here. And maybe the sports equipment is getting them exercise. So think how you're actually helping your customers. And on page 65, another question to be asking is how could your brand better adapt to the push for inclusion? This is a big thing that I'm seeing is that people of all sizes, shapes, colors, whatever it is, we're, we're starting to, and, and rightfully so, incorporate them more into our branding, into our products, into our world. And one of the things we'll be talking about is, and I actually have it in my PowerPoint here, is sports. How can you create products like this spike ball set? I love spike ball. That's a little bit more inclusive. How people love playing games. People love playing sports. 
but not everyone's extremely athletic. How can you get people to move around, have fun, play games, even if maybe they're not as athletic or maybe you know other different issues? And this is going to be a trend that we talk a lot about is disabilities or people with different issues. There's a lot more of a push towards mental health and awareness that not everybody is built the same and inclusion. This is what we're talking about here. Uh, some other products that were that are going to be really big is climate pledge products. So this is things that help to offset some of the carbon that's being released. And we'll, we'll talk about that in the trend report here. So let me go to one of the next ideas. And this is where we start to actually get into real products that could make you some monies. Vegan lunch. So kids lunch foods and snacks are offered in vegan formats. And the push, there's a big push towards plant based health. And now, you could argue whether or not this is healthier for the individual, but a lot of people do believe that, and it, it, there is some truth to it. I, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a dietitian. All I know is that this is a trend. More people are buying vegan and plant-based products, and there is also some aspects to this where it's, it turns into a healthier world. People want to support a healthier world, and obviously, a lot of people, the reason they'll go vegan is because it's more uh, friendly to the environment. So that's something to consider. But on the other end of the spectrum, if maybe you're not big on the vegan trend, is nose to tail eating. In the past, and maybe still for a lot of people, we only eat certain parts of the animal, even though almost all of an animal is edible. You can make a lot of money by selling parts of the animal that before people maybe would turn their nose up on. They, they weren't likely to want to eat. But a lot of these parts, think of liver. Liver is something that a lot of Americans do not eat, but it's actually extremely healthy for you. Same thing, kidney, organ meats, all these different parts of the animal that before we throw away or turn into cheap cuts are actually relatively premium items. And think about maybe you could do something with that, whether it's a food item or some other type of product. Can you use the parts of the animal that before we were being wasteful and throwing away? And this could actually help reduce climate change as well. And that's gonna be a big uh, theme throughout this. So let's go into the next one. This microalgae meats. This is something that's interesting. It may be hard for the typical person to create a product out of this, but could you create a, a jerky that's a microalgae jerky? Another trend is this idea of eco sweeteners. And a lot of people like sweeteners in their products, but sugar is probably not the healthiest thing for us. So this is another thing that this trend report is talking about. Sustainable bar. And you can see with this next product, Sustainable Bar, that there is a trend towards more sustainable products. And people still are gonna be drinking alcohol, although the trends do suggest they'll be drinking less alcohol, but they want more sustainable, more craft type beverages. And even though I don't really recommend selling alcohol per se, but maybe you can sell bamboo glasses, or maybe you could sell uh, bitters or different mixes that go into the cocktails that can make it more sustainable, more premium, more eco-friendly. And if we keep going down this list, carbon neutral cooking. This is actually a key one. And we're gonna talk about this one later. So this trend of carbon neutral cooking actually extends to a lot of different things. I'm gonna show you an example later of how you can use this idea of carbon neutral. And basically what this means for anyone that doesn't know, is that they're going to offset whatever pollution they might create. They're gonna plant trees, they're gonna do things that offsets that in some way. Now, affordable vegan also related, you're seeing a pattern here. Uh, people wanna eat vegan or plant-based, but it can get relatively expensive. So think about how can you make it a little bit easier, a little bit more affordable for people to do it while still creating a premium product. Microgreens is another trend that I see and it's microgreens for anyone that doesn't know, they're, they're becoming more popular uh, with consumers and a lot of consumers are even growing them at home. So this might be something where you could sell a microgreens growing kit or a microgreens bar, a microgreens drink mix, uh, a lot of different options here. And as we go through this different trend report, it starts to get, some of these things aren't necessarily perfect for Amazon products. So I'm gonna scroll down to 152 here. And in this section, it talks about fashion and trends and long wear tint. Tinted cosmetics pro products promise long lasting formula. So people don't wanna have to put on makeup every single day maybe. They can put it on once a week, things like that. Adaptive shapewear is another example where this is kind of going to that idea of more inclusive trends. I think in the past we'd see the Victoria's Secret models and we think that's what you know everybody needs to look like. But what this is saying is like, can, can your shapewear adapt to you? Can it 
enhance your natural beauty. Waterless skincare. This is something interesting that I don't know a lot about, but this is another one of those trends that you might want to be aware of and you might want to start thinking a little bit about. Anti-pollution toner. Again, we're seeing another trend here. People are thinking a little bit more holistically about the earth. In the past, toners, you'd wash it off your face, it'd go down the drain, it would be polluting, but how can we make a more green, a more friendly thing like that? Body blurring is something that's it's kind of, to me, this seems kind of like Photoshop in real life. It helps to get rid of some of the different issues you might have on your body that you might be uh, worried about. Bamboo apparel. Again, the trend we're seeing here is sustainable things that are going to be helping the world. And let's go down to 172 and let's talk about health and wellness and focused mood boosting. So if you think about like your typical Gen Z person and what they care about, well, they care about mental health, they care about the world. And as Gen Z gets older, and millennials are also taking on a lot of this, and it kind of trickles upwards in a lot of ways where the older generations are starting to become more aware of how some of our consumerist tendencies actually might have a negative effect, but how? But people still wanna buy things. People still want to purchase things that will improve their life, especially during these chaotic times. So with all of this stuff in mind, all these trends, let's talk about the idea generator. And if you wanna get access to this file, you can click on the link down below to join my five day, $1 Amazon FBA product research challenge and you'll get this document. And the way the idea generator works is you're gonna write down everything you interact with today. This would be an example day for me of everything I interact with. And let's say I sit in a meditation chair. I do, uh, I have this five minute journal that I do. I have a small notebook where I write down all my to-dos. I have a clipboard that I use. I have like weekly to-dos. This is actually old. I don't do this exactly anymore. I drink tea. So this is something that is interesting. I drink tea pretty much every morning. I have a hot water tea maker. I usually use a French press. I have a mug that I'll drink out of. So again, a travel mug. Uh, I have a travel mug and a regular mug. I take a shower, uh, shower affirmations. I'll say certain things while I'm in the shower just to, well, I, I don't do this as much anymore, but in the past I would say, thing, I'd have a list of things that I would say, basically saying like, hey, I'm smart, I'm hardworking, I'm successful. Um, and this served a couple different purposes, but one is for me to really internalize that and feel it like, wow, yeah, I am smart, I'm hardworking, I am successful. I would sometimes even talk about some of my accomplishments just to remind myself like when I'm feeling low, that like, well, I have done a lot. I'm a very capable individual. And in the past before, I would also read out my goals. I'd have a list of what my goals are and I would read it. And the reason I would do this in the shower is because every day I take a shower. And so when I'm in there, it's a trigger. It's a cue for me to do this. I eat breakfast in the morning. I have breakfast food. Um, so this again is something that we'll, we'll talk about how to turn all these into ideas. Go on the computer, I interact with a mouse, a microphone, a keyboard. I go play basketball. I have basketball shoes, athletic socks athletic clothing in general. I have a gi because I'll do jujitsu. I eat lunch food. I eat, uh, what does this say? Plates? Oh yeah, because I'm, I'm eating food off of plates. Cooking utensils, Tupperware, self-help book. I'll read a self-help book. I'll watch TV. Uh, I'll be looking through, uh, I was reading a cocktail book when I was talking about this, learning how to make cocktails. So let me show you an example of how to use this information. You can pick any one of these and go down the list. So first off, what would make this item a five out of five star experience? So for tea, let's say five out of five star experience would be something like, I love the taste. It makes me feel great after I drink it. Uh, and I could keep going on more and more details. Uh, it's a premium experience where I feel like I'm treating myself and it's a great way to start the day. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going through and I'm trying to think, how could I make the tea that I'm drinking every morning better? Well, what would make the next question here is what would make me pay double for this? Okay, this is a great, this starts to make you think how to make this premium. If I knew everything was organic, if it tasted better, if it made me feel better, if I felt like I was supporting small farms or individual tea farmers. So as I'm actually doing this, I have an idea for a tea company where we have pictures of the tea farmers on the box. And it's like a smiling tea farmer from Indonesia or wherever the tea is made. And in and, and that way, like, and maybe every time we do a production run, it's a new person. And we say that, hey, we're giving a certain percentage of the proceeds to these farmers. What would make me wanna tell my friends about that? Actually, yeah, if 
some money went to farmers or small, well, I guess small farmers or individuals, because then that starts to be a story. It's like, wow, when you drink this tea, you can feel good about yourself because you're helping out the world in general. Another thing that might make me want to tell my friends about that, if, if I felt really good afterwards or if it tasted great. So what is my biggest pain point and how can I solve it? So with tea, my biggest pain point is I don't always love the flavor. I don't know if I don't know if it's organic or or healthy for that matter. And for everyone watching this, you can make a copy by going file make a copy and I'm not you can't edit the actual the original one itself. But so what you can do is you can go down the list for every single item that you interact with and ask yourself, and this is what I'm trying to do, is to get you to tune your brain into thinking how to make products that are better than what already exists out there. And so, you know, same thing with a French press. What would make a French press better? What would make uh, a basketball, a better basketball? And I have a friend that's selling a vegan basketball. And this ties back into those trends that we were talking about earlier. So next up is the activities list. Let's look at activities. What do I do? I meditate. I plan the day. I, I, I give gratitude. I have like a three minute thing where I'm like, thank, I, I say thank you to the universe, to whatever higher power for all the different things that are going well in my life. Uh, basketball, jujitsu, lunch, board games, all of these things. And I could go down the list with this. And instead of asking the questions I did in the last one, they're slightly different questions. What is my biggest pain point with this activity and how could I solve it? So meditation, my biggest pain point is my chair is not that comfortable. So I can make a better chair for meditation. What would make me want to tell my friends about this experience? If it was a premium chair that supported small manufacturing or went to a good cause, and I could, I could think of a chair where as you're meditating, you feel good about it because you know that you're sitting on something that was made by a, a person in a underdeveloped country. And by buying that chair, by sitting on this chair, you're supporting them. And then I want to tell my friends like, hey, there's this really cool company that makes meditation pillows or meditation chairs. Uh, meditation pillows, that's another example. Instead of a chair, you can do a meditation pillow. And again, maybe it comes with some kind of like a printout saying, hey, your chair was created in a factory in blah, 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 not a factory, maybe like in a small village or something like that. So, and that's a super premium product. What item, invention, or idea would make this a five out of five star experience? I'd say a chair, a pillow or cushion to sit on, maybe a timer. Maybe there's some kind of a, a meditation timer that has like a special gong or helps you somehow get into the flow. So again, you can do this with all the different activities here. So for gratitude, maybe I, my biggest pain point with this is sometimes I don't know what to be grateful for. And so maybe having some kind of a gratitude journal or instead of, um, maybe it gives you prompts like, Hey, what is something that you took for granted today that worked really well? Or what was something that happened yesterday that you expected to do well, or you expected to happen? So for instance, here's an example. I clicked on an, a button and an elevator door opened. And it worked. I didn't have to worry about like, oh my God, am I gonna die? Like everything worked smoothly. I turned on my computer and it worked. And so with gratitude, you could do the same thing, shower. How could I make a shower better? Well, I actually talked a little bit about this in the last example here is maybe I could have something that I place on the wall in front of me where it's like a whiteboard where I write down my goals or affirmations. And we can just go down this list, jujitsu. Uh, I'm learning jujitsu and jujitsu flashcards to help me learn jujitsu. So every cooking, um, I mean, drinking wine, we have wine flashcards as well. There's, there's so many different examples here, board games. Maybe I could create a new board game. My problem with current board games is it, maybe it's very competitive and I wanna have a board game that's a little bit more fun and lighthearted and good for connecting. And then the last one I have here is what are you interested in and what we can do and throughout this, as you're coming up with your own ideas, anytime you have a product idea, I'd recommend listing it here. So I could go back, uh, what ideas have I had so far? So far I've had tea that supports farmers, tea that makes you feel good, slash makes you feel like you're treating yourself. Could do something like uh, the, the cushion for, for meditation, chair for meditation, jitsu flashcards. I just keep, keep going on. Like there's a lot of things that I already thought of. Now I'm not saying all these are gonna be winners. We'll talk about later in this video how to figure out which of these products will actually be winners. But uh, things that I'm interested in, I talked about this before, the carnivore diet. So right here, now that we know, you know, the carnivore diet is something, and I showed this in a recent video I did, but let me show you how you can take that kind of an interest, plug it into Helium 10, and just start coming up with ideas.
go to tools and then magnet tool. I'm just gonna put it in the magnet tool here. Click get keywords. I recommend again for title density putting zero, zero and clicking apply filters. And then going down here and going to the magnet IQ score, putting it in order and just start going through this list and start looking one by one carnivore flower. That's an interesting one. Let's look at this. Yeah, it's flour made out of meat. And this product is pretty terrible branding. Let's look at this chicken flour. Let's look at how much money this product is making. And it's the only uh, product on the market that's like this. And this product right here is making $11,000 every single month, just the chicken. There's also beef flour, pork flour, all these different types of flours. So think about how you can take your interest, plug it in this tool and see what people that have similar interests to you, see what they're buying on Amazon already. If you're still stuck and maybe you don't know what you're interested in and you want an even more in-depth way to find products, I have this Amazon full category list. And if you wanna get access to this file, you can click on the link down below to join my five day $1 Amazon FBA product research challenge and you'll get this document. And this is a list of every single category on Amazon. And you can find these categories if you go to amazon.com, click on the best sellers tab here. And these are all the categories over on this side. You can see health and household. If you click on health and household, there's subcategories among subcategories. And as you click on the subcategories, all of them are listed here. There's over 20,000 different subcategories, which is a lot. So what I recommend doing, and there's filters at the top here, I recommend going through and unchecking everything that you're not interested in selling. And I already started doing this in the sample here. So I unchecked all, I, I, I only checked a few of them. Beauty and personal care, that sounded a little bit interesting. Grocery and gourmet food, that's an interesting category. Health and household, home and kitchen, office products, patio, lawn and garden, pet supplies, sports and outdoors. I unclicked appliances. I don't wanna sell an appliance that's a lot of money, it's hard, it's technical. Arts, crafts and sewing, not something I'm super interested in. Automotive, ah, they're, they're, if you're really interested in automotive, obviously, you know, click on that. Baby products, I'm not interested in that product. Books, CD and vinyl, cell phones and accessories, clothing, shoes, jewelry, electronics, industrial and scientific, movies and TV, musical instruments, all these things are things that I'm not interested in. And as we go down this list and we start unchecking things, the list is gonna get smaller. Then we can go to the next subcategory. And you can see here, uh, I, I kept the check marks on some things, but I uncheck things like makeup. I'm not that interested in makeup. I unchecked meat and seafood, ironing products, household cleaning supplies, a lot of different things that I know I'm, it's a categories that I'm not interested in. And I, I didn't uncheck everything here, but you can slowly start going down category by category and narrowing down and sharing what you're interested in. Then um, as you start to get more specific, you can go through this list and put down between one to five how interested you are. If you're not interested at all, just leave it blank. I think it's easier. And you could write down some notes. So I did find something that I thought was interesting. So when you do find a category that you're interested in, so beauty and personal care, skin care products, body skincare products, body cleansers, bath and soap. When you find something, you're like, all right, that's something I'm you know, a little bit interested in. Maybe it's something I could sell. You're gonna go to this best sellers tab, go into the category. So this is beauty and personal care. Next up, we had skincare products, body, then it was cleansers, and then it was soaps. So now as I'm looking at these soaps, there's a lot of products here. Let's see how much some of these products are making. So this Dr. Squatch Men's Soap Bar gift set. This is a very niche down product. This is exactly what I'm talking about here. Let's see how much money per month this product is making. Now, as a guy, this was probably the type of product I would have made. This, this product's only existed for, I don't know, five, 10 years. And so if I would have, look at this, almost $900,000 every single month. And that's the power of niching. Remember, the riches are in the niches. So how could we, using the information that we learned from the trends report, how can we create a product that's niched down, that's gonna be a premium product that's perfect? Well, the idea I came up with is a vegan carbon neutral product. Something that every time you use it, you feel good about yourself. You're like, you're washing your body and you're like, I'm helping to make the world a better place. And this is something that I think would end up doing really well. And you can see there's not really anything that markets itself heavily as good for the environment, good for your skin, uh, something that, you know, hippie, hippies would use. There is Dr. Bronner's, 
But even Dr. Bronner's, I don't think it's not carbon neutral. It's not, it doesn't, the, the branding and the packaging is a little bit outdated in my opinion. So what you can do is you can go down this list and start looking at all the things that you might be interested in. There's about 7,000 different options that I've narrowed it down to. I could continue to, to narrow it down further and further and further because a lot of these things I'm not that interested in, but you start to get ideas of products that you might want to sell. Another thing that you could do, and let's go here, let's look at the, see, let's look at the second best selling product here. We can take this product, we can go down, we can get the ASIN, and remember Amazon standard identification number, we're gonna take this product, we're gonna go over into Helium 10, and we're gonna figure out what people are searching for in Amazon to buy this product using the Cerebro tool. So we're gonna go to tools, and we're gonna go to Cerebro, and we're gonna paste that in there and get the keywords. We're then gonna go to title density, let's put zero, zero as well. And this is just gonna make it so whatever search phrases come up, have as little competition as possible. I'm gonna go here, we're gonna go to Cerebro IQ score and start going down this list. Now, we, we wanna avoid any phrases that has the brand name in it. So Ivory, Dove, these all sound like brand names so far. That's okay, we just keep going until we find a good option. So one product that we found here is Baby Dish Soap. Let's click on that. There are some competitors. Let's see how much this product is making in sales every single month. And so this is uh, bottle and dish soap, dish liquid, plant-based, hyperallergenic. Their, their listing could use a little bit of um, more work. What's interesting is it, they actually don't have the phrase Baby Dish Soap located in the title, even though Baby Dish Soap gets a search volume of around 10,000 per month. So if we made a product that was literally called Baby Dish Soap, maybe it had Baby Dish Soap really big on it, we might be able to steal some of their sales. And let's look here. And I think they're really the only competitor. Well, I'm gonna do a double check in a second here, but let's see how much money they're making. And this product's making hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. And when we go back here, Baby Gannix, and Dapple Baby, they're, they're really the, they're, there's okay, there might be one or two other ones, but there's really not a lot of good competition. And I think this branding isn't the best. So this is a product that we could potentially make if you were passionate about babies and baby health and you wanted to make a better product and you could, uh, again, make it carbon neutral, make it vegan. I don't, none of these talk about vegan, even though they maybe are, they're not really adding to that. And you could, you could create a whole social media account. You could create branding around this. You could create all kinds of different marketing around this idea. If you're still unsure about what you wanna sell, use this, look at all the different categories, and then go to Amazon, look at the best selling products in those categories. You can put it into Helium 10, or you can just start using your own brain on how you can make a better product. Like I did with the, the soap bar that's carbon neutral. I just looked and I saw that this was something that I know I could make a better, more branded, more niche down product than what is out there. So this starts to turn your brain into an idea making machine. And after all of that, if you're still unsure about what your passions are, what you wanna sell, here's a couple other ideas that you can do. One, download all your credit card history. Look at where you spend money more so than maybe other people do. So for instance, for me, I've actually been spending a lot of money on this studio, on my business, on working and uh, creating a really amazing YouTube channel. And so I could start thinking, what products do I wish existed for content creators? And maybe it's a, a certain type of tripod. In fact, I had an idea for, or a camera, I don't wanna create a camera, but I had an idea for a camera that films both in horizontal and vertical. That way I don't have to do two separate filmings. And there's things like that where you can start looking at your own life. So credit card history. The other thing is look at your Amazon browse history. Start looking on Amazon for products that you would buy if you had more money. Because a lot of people I know, or, or maybe you're not cheap, but I know a lot of people, maybe if they had more money, they would buy products uh, that they aren't buying. And so start thinking about because remember, there's a lot of people out there that are willing to spend money on things that maybe you're not yet. That's actually with my first passion product, Performance Nut Butter. I don't know if I would have paid $28 a box for the nut butter, but I knew that there was people out there that would. So other things that you can do is also look at your Google browse history to see what things are you interested in, what podcasts do you listen to, and start thinking about all the different categories of products that you could sell in. And in the next section, I'm gonna go into a little bit more about my idea vault and share some other ideas with you. Plus, in the next section, we're gonna go in depth 
and I'm gonna show you live as I do product research. And we're gonna try to see how many products that I can find in an hour and you can steal all these products that I find. Now I'm gonna show you live as I go through each of these different methods and show you how I go about finding products to sell on Amazon. And since this is live, we're gonna to try to keep a count of how many products I can find and you, you can steal any of these ideas. I'm not saying every one of these is going to be a winner, but I'm gonna show you how I go about trying to find products to sell on Amazon. So with that being said, let's start with this keyword method here. And to do that, you're gonna open up Helium 10. Again, there's a link down below that you can use to sign up for Helium 10. If you haven't yet, it's a discount code. It's the best deal you can find on Helium 10. But once you've signed up, you're gonna log in and you're gonna go into tools and we're gonna use the magnet tool. I made a list of things that I'm interested in. And one of my current interests is jujitsu. So let's type that in, jujitsu. And I, I'm not saying that this is the best thing to start with, but I like to put in here different things that I'm interested in. Jiu-Jitsu may be a, a category that's already a little bit oversaturated, but let's get some keywords. Let's see what we can find. And we can see that over 9,000 people per month are searching for the phrase Jiu-Jitsu. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna put title density at zero, zero, and we're gonna hit apply right here. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go in terms of magnet IQ score. And we're gonna go down to here and put the rows per page to 150. So now we're gonna go one by one. We're gonna look at all these things that people are searching. Look how many people per month are searching these things and see if we can make a product out of this. So this first one is hamburger purchasing submission. I have no idea what that is. We're gonna click on this button. We're gonna see what comes up. And it turns out it's a book. So we're not gonna create a competing product. This is already a book. Football cleats, that's too generic. We're not gonna create new football cleats. A lot of these things, just because I know the field, I can tell like this is brand names. We don't wanna, if it's a brand name search, we don't wanna compete with that product. So as we go down this list, here's another thing, Gaga ball pit. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, it's like a, okay, Gaga might be a brand name here. So again, we don't wanna mess with anything that's brand name. So let's keep scrolling through. I'm just gonna rapid fire, try to look through this, see if I see anything that pops out. Yeah, mouth guards here. I don't think I really wanna sell mouth guards or jujitsu mouth guards. I wonder if jujitsu mouth guards are different in some way. So there are sports mouth guards. It does list jujitsu, but nothing's actually targeted towards a jujitsu mouth guard. So that's actually kind of interesting. Maybe you could brown, oh, this one right here. Jujitsu mouth guard black. Let's see how many sales it's getting. I'm just out of curiosity here. It's really poor branding. Yeah, this doesn't look anything that special. It's only got four reviews. And this is only doing a revenue of around $400 a month. So that might not be a product that we really wanna compete with. Though I do think with better branding, better everything, we could get this up to $1,000, $2,000 in sales a month. But as you can see, all they did, and look, at this is terrible. Their title is terrible, their images are terrible, and they're still making $400 a month. That's something. Uh, and so as a first product, this might be a winner. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna count that as the first product right there, Jiu-Jitsu mouth guard. And you can start thinking about how you can, again, the riches are in the niches. So people are searching for football mouth guards and this mouth guard. You can make a mouth guard that's more specialized to that sport. And so an idea I just had is in Jiu-Jitsu, you have different belt colors. You can make a white one for white belts, a blue one for blue belts, purple one for purple belts. Like people, when you earn a belt rank in jujitsu, it's a big deal. I'm a blue belt. And when you when you earn it, it's kind of a big deal and people like to celebrate it. So that might be a, a fun thing that you could do right there. So again, let's put this magnet IQ score here. And let's, well, I'm gonna write this down actually. So let's add that to the idea vault here. And we'll put jujitsu mouth guard. Let's keep going through this list. And another thing that I saw as I was scrolling was soap, jujitsu soap right here. 372 people per month are searching for jujitsu soap. Again, soap's a pretty common thing, but we niched it down by doing jujitsu soap. And what I'm gonna do here now too is take this soap and put it in the phrases containing. And this is only gonna show us phrases that contain the word soap. And we actually have submission soap, wrestling soap, and jujitsu soap. Now I think submission soap is actually a brand, but let's look at jujitsu soap. And yeah, so submission soap already kind of beat us to the punch here. They did exactly what I recommend doing. They created a passion product out of this and it's a soap specifically targeted to BJJ, jujitsu, wrestling, and grappling. 
Now we could create a competitor product with better branding, better marketing, maybe um, creating a whole social media account. So I'm gonna put this in the sheet. I'll count this as another idea, but I don't think that this is a huge winner unless you're really looking to do a lot of branding, a lot of marketing associated with that. Let's stop with this tool. Let's move on to the next tool. Next up, let's try out the bestseller method. And there's a few different ways to do this, but one of the ways that I'm gonna do it is just go in here, go in into bestsellers. And in fact, just for some inspiration, what I like to do is go into the new releases. And let's look at some of these different categories. Now, I don't recommend selling Amazon renewed products or home improvement can be interesting, but a lot of these things are uh, probably gonna be a tough competition. Durable sanding blocks. Nah, I don't wanna mess with that. A squeegee for your stainless. So this is a new release. Let's just see how well this product is doing. Actually, this one, car interior detailing brush. That's also interesting. Car trash can, two pack with trash bags. All right, let's look at that one as well. Now I'm not selling, saying we're gonna sell these, but I just wanna show you guys something. This product, how long has it been out on the market for? I think it's gotta be pretty recent. Date first available is April 14th here. So it's relatively new, it's only a few months old. And let's pull up and see how much in sales this is doing every single month. Uh, it actually doesn't show the revenue. And since it doesn't show the revenue in Helium 10, what we can do instead is we can take this and go over to the Jungle Scout free sales estimator. But I can already tell this is number 34 in automotive. It's gonna be a lot of sales. So let's go United States and let's go automotive. So it's selling, what is that, 18,000 units per month times $10, so that's $180,000 per month this product is making. Again, I'm not saying that we need to create a competing product to this. I just wanna show you guys what is possible. So we also have these, look at that, trash cans right here. And when we plug in the information for this product into Helium 10, we can see it's selling 5,000 units per month. And when we do the math, that's over 60, $70,000 in sales this product's doing every month, even though it's a relatively new product. It, it only was released a few months ago. Look at back in May 15th. Another thing that you can look at is this movers and shakers tab. And this is gonna show you not necessarily items that are new items, but items that are recently uh, taking off in sales. And so we can look at the different subcategories here and look at what products are absolutely taking off. Now, first off is unique finds. This is always fun. So one of the ones is this Turkey Tendon Dog Treat Signature Series, human grade. There you go. So if you're hungry and you need a snack, boom, some turkey tendon right here. And let's pull up Helium 10 and let's see how much in sales this product is doing every single month. And we're getting hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. This one even is doing over $4 million in sales per month. That's absolutely insane. Again, right now I'm just showing you guys kind of what's possible. We have the blockbuster game, a movie. So this is like a, a, a game. And that's another category that we talked about earlier in this video is games, making your own board games. That's something that's really fun. Something I'm actually looking to do at some point is make my own game. And that's a, that's a little bit more complicated because it takes a different level of marketing. But let's go here, let's look at the grocery and gourmet food. Now I like to look at this to see what are the trends in food, what things are popping off. And one thing you can see here is protein cookies. Protein cookies have actually been out for like a couple years. But it's good to see that they're still moving and shaking. They're still getting lots of sales. This Death Wish coffee. Now, this is a perfect type of product. This is a passion product. How do you take something as generic as coffee and brand it? This is how you do it. This, is, this was actually the inspiration for a Rocket Tea, which was a product I released a few months ago. And Rocket Tea is the highest caffeine tea in the world. This is the world's strongest coffee. And their branding is very like intense, skull and crossbones, you know, macho. Uh, let's see how much in sales this product is doing. And keep in mind, they're really not doing anything that special. Yeah, maybe they have slightly stronger coffee beans, but it's freaking coffee, let's be honest here. And I'm sure fans of the brand would completely disagree with me, but let's see how much in sales this product is doing every month. And it's doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales every month. In fact, their top selling product is doing over $700,000 in sales every month. And this is a case study in why branding and market positioning is so important. They didn't just 
brand their product, they position themselves as the world's strongest coffee, which is perfect for people that want to be cool and bikers and, you know, all macho type people, whether it's men or women, it's got a hardcore vibe to it. So with that being said, what I like to start doing is going into the bestseller and you can go into the, the new releases or the movers and shakers, but I even just like going into the grocery and gourmet category in general or whatever category. And one of the patterns I've seen, and I've talked about this in previous videos, is if you look at the grocery and gourmet food category and the products that are making the most amount of sales, Celsius, it's an energy drink. It's got caffeine. This has caffeine. This has caffeine. This has caffeine. This has caffeine. So you can see that there's a trend that Americans, they want a lot of energy. Monster and Nespresso. A lot of the best selling products in grocery and gourmet are these caffeine products. Now, one thing I like to do is think about, okay, what's going to be the long-term effects of everybody that's drinking all this caffeine? A couple different things. Maybe adrenal fatigue. Uh, maybe they realize that they don't actually need more energy. Maybe they need better rest. And so I like to think about the pendulum is going to be swinging. And it might not be for a few years. This might be well ahead of the curve. But could you create a tea or a drink product that makes you calm down, that makes you relax, that makes you recover better? And so that's something that I always think about. But let's let's pick a random category here that I think might be interesting. And I'm going to go with home and kitchen. Let's see what some of the best selling products are here. So this is another trend. I see a lot of people that like drinking water. So think about how could you make water and water mugs better? Uh, we have handheld mini fans. That's pretty boring. Is there a way to improve this product? So you look at another water product. A lot of these are kind of generic. You're probably not going to be wanting to sell toilet paper or bed sheets. A lot of this stuff I probably would not mess with personally. See, look at this is cool branding, at least Flexzilla garden hose. I like that. And I haven't been adding products to the sheet. We should probably let me pull that up. So one of the ideas was a relaxing slash recovery drink or tea. I think we were also mostly just showing other things and what people were doing. So we don't have to go too much into that. And now that we're looking at the best selling category, I can talk about the next tool that you can use. And that is the Cerebro tool. So this is a really great selling product. But the question is, how do we niche it down? How do we make it even better? So I'm going to take the ASIN, which you can find up here. Or if you scroll down, you can find it right here. That's the ASIN number. Amazon standard identification number. Every product on Amazon has one. We're going to go into tools. We're going to go into Cerebro. And we're going to plug that in there. And we're going to take a look and see what types of product ideas we can get stemming from this. So we know that a lot of people are buying this, but again, the riches are in the niches. So we're going to want to see how can we niche down that product? How can we create a product that does not yet exist? So I'm going to put my search volume. No, not search volume trend. We're going to do the title density at zero, zero. We're going to click apply filters. We're going to go in here and go to Cerebro IQ score. Wow, there's a really big one at the top there. We're going to do 150. All right, so let's look at this. Now, again, we want to eliminate. In fact, I'm going to put Stanley as uh, something that we do not want to be in there. Stanley. Can we do more than one here? And let's click apply. So Yeti is another brand that we don't want to sell. Uh, Simply Modern. A lot of these are brands. Now, again, this doesn't always result in ideas. Like, I don't want to make it seem like you're always going to find things that are super easy. Purple Yeti. I'm curious. Okay, they do sell a purple. I was going to say that that's an interesting. If they don't sell purple, then maybe we could do something. Kong Beer Bong. Kong's probably a brand name. But it's not really a beer bong. Let's see. Beer Bong. And this is what I like to do. I like to go down rabbit holes and just see. Okay, they, they have some beer bongs here. Beer bongs are pretty cheap and easy, pretty generic. All right, we probably don't want to sell a beer bong. Reminds me of my college days. Um, let's see here. I don't know what JotCon is. And part of the reason I like to go down this and just look at what the products that are being sold is to see, like, what are people buying? And it starts sparking in your brain, like, all kinds of different ideas. Squincher. I have no idea what a squincher is. 
zero quick stick sugar. It's like a flask cap. Yeah, no, okay, it's pretty generic. Danger coffee. I know this guy. So on page two, I found this propane coffee maker. And when we go to Amazon and we search for a propane coffee maker, there's actually no products that really exist. I mean, there's this Coleman camping coffee maker and this one that has a three star review, but I can't even tell if this uses propane. None of these are obviously a propane coffee maker. And when I go here and look, there's over almost a thousand people per month searching for propane coffee maker. So boom, we got another product idea. Let's put that in the product idea vault. Here's another product idea, but I don't fully understand this one. So there might be something more to this. It says thumbs up Ninja Mug. And when I search for thumbs up Ninja Mug in Amazon, uh, I mean, there, I guess there's thumbs up mug ceramic. This would be a really easy product, but none of these are really like ninja thumbs up. I don't know what that is. Well, sometimes when I don't know what something is like that, let's go to Google and see if there's a reason that people are searching for thumbs up ninja mug. Thumbs up. I guess that's this product here. So, all right, th that, that product is on Amazon there, but it's not called thumbs up ninja mug. So I don't know. Maybe there's, I won't add this to the list because I don't think there actually is opportunity there. But um, just interesting. Now let's talk about another tool and that is the black box tool. And you can see there's all these different options, all these different tools out there to help you find products. And again, we're gonna do categories and subcategories. And I'm just, you know what, I'm on a, I was gonna say I'm gonna do grocery and gourmet, but maybe you guys are sick of that. So I'm gonna try something different here. Let's do instead kitchen, kitchen and dining. See what we come up with. We're gonna put the max rating at 3.5. We're gonna put the max review count at 1,000. We're gonna put the price at between 15 and 85. Remember that, we talked about why that is earlier. Revenue, minimum 5,000, but max 80,000. And we're gonna hit search and we're gonna see what kind of products we come up with. So we got a shelf here. So it's a rev, a shelf, kidney shaped value line, two shelf, ladies and Susan independent rotation. I've seen stuff like this. So this product, just for reference, it's $80. It's doing almost $20,000 in sales every single month. So yeah, I mean, and it's got a three star. So again, what I like to do is I like to look at the three stars. It's only got four ratings. Um, so that's not a great star start. It didn't come with hardware to install. That's a pretty easy fix. So boom, maybe that's a product idea. Now the problem with this product idea is it's not really very brandable. It's not very marketable. Uh, not something I highly recommend. See, a lot of the kitchen and household stuff's not the most brandable, but every once in a while you find something. All right, acrylic eight by 10 gold mirror arc table sign for wedding. So wedding decorations, look at this, it's $42. How much are they? But the rating's actually 4.7, so I'm a little bit confused why it's showing up. So we have a milk dispenser for fridge. Let's take a look. I mean, there's a lot of competition here. Yeah, these products, I am not a fan of this category. So the problem with the black box tool is that it's gonna show you products that already exist. You're not really getting on the leading edge of things. So what I recommend doing instead is actually instead of searching for products, search for keywords that meet that criteria. And we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do a search volume of at least, let's call it at least 500, all the way up to a max of 10,000. Monthly revenue, minimum 5,000, up to 80,000. Price minimum 15, 85. Review count max 1,000. Review rating, let's go max 3.5 again. And let's click search. And here we found Dancing Flamingos. It's got about 1,000 searches per month. This product could make you $6,000 per month. And when I search Dancing Flamingos in Amazon, there's not really, I mean, there's these sculptures, but this is the closest product to what I think people would want. It says Dancing Yard Flamingos. And this product, the branding is pretty terrible. These photos are terrible. We could do a way better job. In fact, I think we can make an entire, the brand says generic. It's a $50 product. 
Let's see how much money they're making every month. They're making $2,000 with this bad of a listing. I know we can make a better listing with better branding and make, like they said, probably closer to $5,000 here. So as you go through this, you can find different ideas. But let me share with you guys the next technique. And this is gonna be the search bar method. So the, for the search bar method, I come in here and I'll turn off Helium 10 because this is a free method for finding products. So let's, let's turn off Helium 10. And you can start typing whatever you're interested in. Let's say tacos. I'm gonna be doing the live event this weekend. We got a taco, we're doing a taco bar, a taco party basically. And one thing that I'm noticing that you know we don't have is a taco holder. Let's look at taco holders and let's see what comes up. Now there's, there's a lot of different taco holders here. This is a pretty competitive market. Probably not something I wanna mess with, but it's interesting. What I like to do at this point is let's go into Helium 10. Now, of course, you don't have to go into Helium 10. You can always just stay here and just go around and try to find different ideas. But I like to go into Helium 10, go into the tools, type in taco holder, put the title density at zero and zero, apply filters, and look at 70,000 people per month are searching for taco holder. So whatever goofy idea you have, uh, just realize that there's probably a lot of people searching for it. And so let's do this. And let's just see what we come up with. Tupperware taco holders, What's is that a, just the brand name? I mean, look at how many different types of taco holders there are. Uh, taco kit, Blackstone taco rack. And one thing I'm thinking about here is like there's taco holders, but you know what? I, I know that some people, when they wanna make their own tacos, you have the soft shell tacos, you wanna make it into hard shell. What do you call it? Like a taco grips? Maybe like taco shell tongs, taco shell. Let's take a look at this. And you can see that there's already people selling some taco shell tongs. Again, none of these listings are really that great. This one, it's got a one star. This one has 1300 reviews. Let's see how much money this product is making. And this product, this goofy little product is making over $4,000 in sales every single month. Could you make a product like this? Maybe make better branding? Yeah, maybe. I'm not saying that this is like the best product in the world, but it's interesting. So. As you guys can see, you can start just going through here, going down the rabbit hole. This isn't the most efficient method, but it is the, the search bar method that can work. But let me show you guys now one of my new favorite methods. This is something I've, this, is, this week has been the first time I've talked about it. And I talked about this earlier in the video, but you go through here. These are all the different categories of all the different products that you could sell on. And I was actually looking at this earlier and I don't have a dog, but I know a lot of people are passionate about their dogs. And so I was looking at, dog stuff. And I was wondering like, is there a good idea of something that a dog lover could sell? And in going through this, I did find this category that is, there's an entire category of dog costumes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Amazon and we're gonna look at what's being sold there and see, is there an opportunity to make a product, to make a little bit of money? And so we go to pet supplies, dog supplies, dog apparel and accessories. So best sellers. Go down to pet supplies, dogs, apparel and accessories, and then costumes. And one of the first things I see is that when the first place product is actually a cat product. It's cat wings. Uh, that's interesting. Just put that in the back of your head. But I'm looking here and there's like, there's a UPS dog costume. There's a tuxedo costume. How much money can you make though selling dog costumes realistically? And let's see how much this one product is making. And this product is making over $30,000 in sales every single month for each of the different variations. So boom, right there, if you're passionate about your dog, you could start an entire company where you just share on social media your dog in different costumes, other people's dogs in different costumes. Then you can start getting your customers to share their dogs in your costumes. And this is gonna create just so much social media. You could do funny scenarios like, taking your dog to a wedding and he's wearing this. Or uh, another idea is figure out what the latest trends are gonna be, like what movies are coming out. For instance, um, the Barbie movie's coming out and maybe you could do like a Barbie themed uh, hoodie or Barbie themed costume for your dog. And so you always wanna be thinking about how can you take these best selling categories, these categories where people are making tens of thousands of dollars, how can you make it unique? How can you make it your own? How can you brand it? Uh, another thing that came up, so I'm gonna add that to the 
the idea vault, dog costumes. Another idea that came up was there is an entire category for dog hoodies. What is a dog hoodie? Let's find out. So dog hoodies. So there, there are these things right here. But when I think of a dog hoodie, I was thinking of like a little dog wearing something like this. And this is actually, this is for humans. It's to put your dog in. But uh, I did see this, which is, that's what I was expecting. It to be something like that, but like a hoodie style, you know, like you would expect Mark Zuckerberg to be wearing. So I think making a product like that could be really cool. That could also be the, under the same company of the dog costumes. So let's go in here and let's see how much money this is making every single month. And this one product, uh, each product is making about $4,000 per month. And you can see there's lots of different sizes and variations and all kinds of different stuff. So you could be making tens of thousands of dollars just selling dog hoodies. So if you think that there's not opportunity out there, you are wrong. There is a ton of different opportunity, but you just have to spend a little bit of time doing some research. And yeah, it might take some hard work to get your business up and running, but there is opportunity. There are ideas out there. Now we're gonna go over everything that we've already learned and show you how you can use that information, how you can take the ideas that you found during the product research and make $100,000 plus per year passive income using the passion product formula. And I'm gonna give you an overview of my system for creating successful Amazon FBA products. And let's just review this because it's been a little while. Why should you even be selling on Amazon? Look, this is such a huge opportunity because retail sales are growing or e-commerce sales, I should say, are growing like crazy. People aren't buying things as much from retail stores, physical stores, they're buying things more and more online. In fact, the number of people buying things online is growing every year. There's over 2 trillion people that buy products online. And 50% of all the sales in the United States that happen online are happening on Amazon's website. So that's a big reason. If you believe people are gonna to continue to buy things online, then you should probably start selling things online and you probably should sell things online where people are buying them, which is Amazon. Last year, over $500 billion in sales, over 300 million Prime customers that buy things from Amazon. And remember, Prime customers pay Amazon a yearly fee for the privilege to be able to buy things and get fast shipping. So these people are dedicated. They're gonna be buying a lot of products on Amazon. Two thirds of all the sales on Amazon's website are from third party sellers. That's people like you and me selling our products on Amazon. Amazon doesn't sell most of the products that are being sold on Amazon's website. They, they do sell some of the products, but most of them are being sold by people like you and me, third party sellers. And Amazon's revenue is growing every single year. This year is projected to be over $600 billion. Next year, 700. The year after that, $800 billion. So this is a huge opportunity. And as I've mentioned before, there's over 200,000 sellers that are making over $100,000 per year. And so you can do this too. This is the biggest thing. I have people come to me. In fact, I had a plumber come into this house the other day and they saw my studio and they're like, hey, what do you do? And you could tell that they're like, wow, that's so amazing. But my big message was, hey, if I can do this, you can do this too. There's been a lot of people, we'll talk about some of the people later in this section, uh, people that have done this, people, again, with stories, all kinds of different stories, people with full-time jobs, people without money. This is a real thing, this is a real possibility. And so this is why I talk so much about Amazon. I could, I could create a YouTube channel about anything I want, but why do I talk about selling on Amazon? This is why, I think it is, the best opportunity to get started and make passive income. Now, don't get me wrong, I love YouTube and I think YouTube's my, like something that I'm really good at, but I think if it wasn't for my first passion product business where I was making six figures passive income on Amazon, I never would have started doing other things that I'm passionate about. So an Amazon business allows you to make passive income so you can explore your passions and maybe your passion is growing your Amazon business or maybe it's something completely different. But let's talk about why most people fail with Amazon FBA. And the number one reason in my opinion is they're selling boring, generic, private label products. And if you're selling a boring product that nobody cares about, it's hard to make a lot of money with. Not impossible, but it's hard. A lot of people I see pick products that have a ton of competition. They're like, well, look at this product's making $100,000 a month. I'm gonna make a copy of it and I'll make $100,000 a month. No, usually uh, those type of products, there's 100 people selling the same product that are trying the same thing and you don't wanna be another copycat. You wanna create something unique, something different, something that's better than the competition. 
And a lot of people just don't know the steps to success. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you right now is step-by-step, the formula, the exact method on how to create a successful Amazon business using the passion product formula. And again, this is a proven system that I've designed, I've refined, I've tweaked, I've taught to over a thousand people. And look, the first group of people I taught it to, the system was very different than it is now. And I'm constantly going back in and re-recording videos and, and refining the system. And I'm gonna be telling you right now the most up-to-date things that I have on how to actually have a successful Amazon business. Now I'm gonna share with you three things. The first thing is the five steps to create a $100,000 a year passive income business in six months. This is doable. I've had students that have done this. I've done this. It's absolutely doable. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I'm not saying for sure it's gonna happen, but if you follow a proven system like what I'm gonna share with you, you have a pretty good chance of having some really amazing success. Then I'm gonna talk about how to actually launch your product on Amazon. And the third and the most important part of this entire section is how to guarantee success. And I have a, a, a real proven system that will guarantee your success. And it's not so much about the tacticals. This is more the mindset stuff. This is the, the big picture stuff. This is the thing that I wish I would have known earlier on and it would have led to so much more success. So make sure you stay for that section on how to guarantee success. It's so important. So how should you create your business? Well, Again, this is the passion product formula, and I believe you should create a branded, unique product that is better than the competition. Gone are the days. Look at five, six, seven years ago, you could sell generic junk on Amazon and make money. It's not like that anymore. You actually need to create something unique, better than the competition, maybe some strong branding. And what are the benefits of this? Well, it's going to be more efficient. You're going to make more money. That's the big thing. When you're selling a premium product that's better than the competition, you're going to make more money. You'll have a stronger brand, more brand loyalty, more people rebuying your products. You'll also be able to sell on other platforms. Five, six, seven years ago, when people were selling junk on Amazon, they could only sell those products on Amazon. What I'm going to be teaching you right here and what I teach in my program is how to actually create a unique product that you could sell on Walmart, sell on Amazon, sell on your own website, go into retail stores, pretty much sell wherever you want. It also, if you do this properly, it's going to lead to automatic income, which is, let's be honest, the real reason a lot of us are doing this is we want that. And I've, I've had this and I've had a lot of students that have had this and I still have it actually. I've wanted, the reason I started this was so that I could go spend a month, two months, three months in Europe and my business would keep running. And that's a great feeling. When you have that freedom and you see that money coming into your bank every single month, every it's actually every two weeks, uh, then it's a really cool feeling because your business is paying you for work that you did months ago, years ago. So I perfected the passion product formula and let's start sharing it. This is a very simplified version of the passion product formula. You're gonna start with an idea. You're gonna create a brand around your idea. You're gonna then, this is, you don't have to do this, but I'll talk about this. You can crowdfund your idea, meaning even if you don't have almost any money, you can use crowdfunding to raise all the money you need to start and launch your Amazon business. Then you're gonna manufacture your product and then launch it on Amazon. This is the simplified passion product formula. So let's talk about it. Look, people are always asking me, what's the time investment? In a regular job, you're gonna be spending 40, 60 hours a week. With the passion product formula using this method, it's gonna be four to six hours a week. And honestly, once you get your business up and running, that time even goes down lower. It might be one, two hours a week. But in the early phases, I'd say about four to six hours a week is pretty normal. So my question to you, and I want you to really think about this, is can you spend four to six hours of your time a week to create a money-making machine? Now, most people spend four to six hours a day watching TV. That's like the national average. And so what I'm saying is, hey, instead of maybe watch a little bit less TV, instead spend a little bit of that time on your business. Maybe wake up a little bit earlier. And I understand, look, I had a corporate job. I understand that it, it, it's very demanding and exhausting. Maybe send, spend half your Saturday a week working on this. So if you can do that, then you can create an Amazon business. And finding your first product. That's what we've been talking about this entire time. The principles, two principles to remember is it must be the best product on the market and it must be something you understand. Because if you're selling a product you don't understand, it's gonna be hard to have success with that. Not impossible. I've had a lot of students that sell products that they don't really get and they still make money, but the most successful students tend to understand the product. So this is why I talk about creating a passion product. You want a better, 
product, um, something that's more unique, a premium product, something that you wish existed that maybe doesn't exist. The benefits of this, as I've mentioned, more purchases, more profit, and you're gonna love. Like when I had, when I was, I, I've since sold Performance Nut Butter. When I had Performance Nut Butter, I loved working on that business because it was fun. I it, like the influencers that I would work with are people that I respected, people that I looked up to. The customers were friends of mine. There were people that I shared interests with. So that's why I always talk about creating a passion product. Second, you're gonna create a brand and a following. So I recommend starting an Instagram, starting a, a Facebook group, starting a TikTok. Uh, you can also create a, this is a TikTok right here. This is AJ. We'll talk about his story later. Uh, you can also start collecting emails. Basically, you're starting to create a tribe of people that when you go to launch your product on Amazon, you're going to send out some emails. You're going to post about it on social media and you're going to make a ton of money. AJ from his TikTok within a couple days made $100,000 in sales. So TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever social media you want, I'd highly recommend creating some social media around your product. I mean, the other thing though we have to talk about is you want to create a unique brand. So look at all these products up here. They all look boring. I mean, and think about in your head for a second, how much money you'd pay for each of these. My guess is probably not a lot, but then you start branding products. This looks like a $20 or $10 pair of shoes. This looks like a $90, $100. This looks like a, you know, $10 book. This looks like a $35 product. This is a $5 jar of peanut butter. This is a $28 product right here. And something to keep in mind is as you're branding your product and you're building your tribe and you're getting a lot of customers on social media, they're going to help you to brand your product and help you improve your product. So this was the original design performance for Performance Nut Butter. Then I showed this on social media to people and they said, wow, that looks so boring. It needs more color. And they came up with this, which is a hundred times better. So this is an optional step, but if you're tight on cash or you want to guarantee that your product's going to sell and make money, then crowdfunding is the way to go. Even if you have $0, you can still do crowdfunding. And I raised almost $15,000 in 30 days with my product, Performance Nut Butter. AJ, of course, did a lot better than I did. He raised over a hundred thousand dollars on Indiegogo, and he started with pretty much zero dollars. He raised all this money using TikTok and social media. So if we can, if we both, if we can both do this, you can do this. I've had a lot of other students that have done this. I'll talk about that in future videos. Uh, but it, Brent has done that. There's a number of other students that I've had that have used social or used Kickstarter and Indiegogo to raise money. Step four, got to manufacture your product. So you've got this idea, but you actually need to go find a manufacturer to do it. And you can go to sites like Alibaba.com. You literally just type in, let me show you. And you can go to sites like Alibaba.com and you can literally type in whatever you want to get manufactured. Let's say you wanted to manufacture some flashcards and they'll show you a list of all kinds of different suppliers here that will manufacture your product for you. You can see you can buy all these products, but you can also contact the manufacturer and customize the products. Now, on the other hand, if you wanna get a product made in the United States, there's sites like thomasnet.com. My first manufacturer was in the United States, so this is absolutely doable. After that, now that you have your product, you're going to launch it on Amazon. And remember, at the end of the day, Amazon is just a search engine. People go to Amazon to search for things they want to buy, cocktail recipe cards. And your goal is to get to the top of the search results. And AJ's, these are the sponsored results here. AJ is, with cocktail cards, we're actually at the top of the search results for this product. And the way to do this is you want a good main image. You want good side images. You want good bullet points. You're gonna optimize every single part of your listing, a good title as well as you want to try to get as many sales as possible from day one. And you want to try to get as many five-star reviews. Look, at he's got five-star average there. That's absolutely amazing. And what happens when you start to get a lot of sales on Amazon, that's going to snowball because Amazon's going to put your listing higher and higher up on the results. And you can see this is like one of my sales charts here. You can see that I started off with not that many sales and then boom, it just absolutely took off. Uh, this was my first month. Well, it wasn't actually... This is the first month where I made $30,000. Within two months of launching my passion product on Amazon, making 30K a month in sales, which is about $10,000 profit. My first year, $300,000 in revenue, over $120,000 
straight up profit. And I was doing this while traveling and really actually enjoying my life for the first time in a while. In total, that business has done over a million dollars in sales, over $400,000 in profit. Let's talk quickly about AJ's story. And AJ, he did product research. I showed you earlier how he did product. Actually, I helped him do product research. We found the idea for the cocktail recipe cards. He started working on branding. He started a TikTok. He started sharing the entire journey. Now, this is really important. If you're okay with being on social media, share the journey of creating your product. Bring people along. Make them be excited so that when you go to launch, all those people are going to want to buy your product. And it worked for AJ. He was able to raise over $100,000 on Indiegogo, like I mentioned. This was AJ's manufacturer. We actually found the manufacturer on Alibaba. And then in AJ's first month, he took all those TikTok followers, did over $50,000 in sales, over $20,000 in profit. In his first year, in total, he did over $500,000 in sales, over $170,000 in profit. He made more money in his first year than I did. And that's my goal. As a teacher, my goal is for you to have more success than I've ever had. I'm honestly, I'm not the Michael Jordan of Amazon FBA. I think of myself more as the Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson, for those that don't know, he was a mediocre basketball player, but he was an amazing coach. He was the coach for Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. He's won over, I think it was like 11 championships uh, as a, well, I think one as a player and 10 as a coach. And that's who I resonate with. I want to be able to help you to be a better Amazon seller than I've ever been. Brent's another one. I'll talk about him later. He did a million dollars in sales last year. He's crushing me. Uh, now I am looking to launch more Amazon products. Don't get me wrong, but most of my focus is on coaching and teaching because I think that's what I'm good at. So anyways, yeah, this is Brent right here. Last year did over a million dollars in sales on Amazon with his product, Sierra Pro. And totally he's done over $1.8 million. Andrew, in his first year, did over $140,000 uh, in sales. And in total, across all the different platforms, he actually did over $300,000 in sales. Because again, when you're selling a passion product, you're not only going to be selling on Amazon. You can sell on your own website. You can do Kickstarter. You can do in stores. And that's what Andrew does. He actually sells his products in stores on his own website all over the place. Mina, in his first year, $250,000 in sales. Uh, now per month, he's doing over a hundred thousand dollars in sales. And there's been a ton of other people that have had similar success. So this formula that I'm talking about really does work. And my goal for you is to help you make at least an extra $10,000 per month within six months. That's what I'm hoping to help you to be able to do. But my question for you is if you were able to make an extra thousand dollars per month, would that be worth it? Would you be willing to put in the work to launch an Amazon business? And I don't know about you, but for me, an extra thousand dollars a month, that means I can go on a pretty cool vacation. That means that I'm not going to be so stressed if I lose my job or something like that. Well, I don't have a job anymore, but if I had a job, I wouldn't be so stressed anymore. And the big thing I always tell people is, look, I, I, I can't guarantee you're going to be making $10,000 profit every single month within six months. I can't guarantee that. That's my goal. That's my hope. But I do have a guarantee. I'll talk about later that if you follow my program and you launch a product that you'll make at least a thousand dollars profit in your first year. And the thing about this is your first product, it may not be a huge blow up success, but you'll learn from that and you'll launch a second product, launch a third product. And by your third, fourth product, I can almost guarantee you're going to be hitting some home runs. Now, I'm not, maybe your first product's a home run. Actually, most of my students, their first product is the product that hits for them. But I just want you to think about it. Like, even if it was only an extra thousand dollars profit a month, that's pretty freaking amazing. That's $12,000 extra a year. How, let's talk about how to guarantee success. And I'll talk about, I do have an Amazon FBA program, the Passion Products Formula Program, and I'll put a link down below to that. So here's how you guarantee success. First is you need to follow a plan. I see so many people fail because they try to start an Amazon business and they don't really know what they're doing. They take a little bit, they watch one YouTube video, do a little bit of that, watch another YouTube video, do a little bit of that, but they're not following a step-by-step -step plan. Think about if you were assembling a car from scratch, all the parts were down on the ground and you didn't have any kind of manual, you didn't have any kind of step-by-step -step plan. What is your chance of success? Probably pretty low. Now imagine that you had a manual that told you step-by-step -step how to put that car together. I'm not saying it's not gonna be hard. I'm just saying it's gonna be a thousand times easier. Now using that same metaphor, what if you had a mentor, someone standing over your shoulder telling you, all right, cool, this is the first step. This is the second step. This is the third step. And every time you made a mistake, they say, no, 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 no. You have to turn it this way. What's your chance of success for that? And 
keep in mind, creating an Amazon business or creating any kind of online business is very similar to putting together a car. You can have 90% of it correct, but if you forget to put in the spark plugs or you forget to put one crucial element into your business, it might just not work. I'd say maybe an Amazon business is a little bit more forgiving, but also kind of not. So the next thing is you wanna find a group, a group of other people that have the same goals as you. Again, using my analogy, let's say you're putting together a car, you have a mentor standing over you, and at the same time, you're in a garage with a bunch of other people that are putting together the same car, and anytime you get stuck, you could ask for help. How powerful would that be? Now, the next step to guarantee success is to commit. A lot of people, they don't wanna do this step. They wanna, they wanna start a business, they, they don't take it that serious. They're like, ah, they have the goal at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna quit my job, I'm gonna start a business, but they don't actually take that leap of faith, they don't actually make that jump. And the biggest thing here is you gotta actually take action because if you have a plan, if you have a mentor, if you have a group, if you quote unquote commit, but you don't actually take the steps, you're not gonna succeed. Most people get stuck because they take the lone wolf approach. You know what? And I did this. I gotta be honest. And I struggled for years trying this. I never asked anyone for help. I thought I was so smart. I thought I could figure everything else, everything out myself. Now, congratulations for the fact that you're watching this video. You're probably ahead of where I was because I was not looking for help. I thought I was so smart I was gonna do it myself. And a lot of times people won't talk about their, their questions or their challenges with people. And so they get stuck in their head. They get stuck in analysis paralysis. They go in circles. So what happens to those people? They get slow results, if any results. It took me five years before I really was starting to make $100,000 in passive income. I mean, it took me five years to find the passion product formula method that I'm sharing with you. Now, to be fair, within two months of finding this method, I was making six figures, but it took me five years to figure this out. A lot of times people, if they have the lone wolf approach, they're not as excited. They get more frustrated. They get more disappointed. And that's because there's little to no accountability. Oftentimes these people, the lone wolf people, they quit because as soon as the going gets hard, they don't know what to do. So they stop. The passion product approach, what I'm sharing with you here is completely different. When you join the passion product formula, my Amazon FBA program, you get a coach and you can ask the coach any kind of questions you have. You also are part of a group of other Amazon sellers and you can ask them when you get stuck, when you need some help. You have other people that are in the trenches that are fighting the good fight with you. You can share your frustrations and your challenges with those people. And I'm gonna be honest with you, a big part of having success with any kind of business is the emotional, it's the mindset. It's the, you need someone to complain about. Most people that try to start an Amazon business, most of my students, they tell me, Oh, you know, none of my friends are doing this. I don't have anyone to talk about. So they join the program and they have other people that are on the same wavelength as them. Other people that understand the challenges. And this creates maximum accountability because when you say, you know what, I don't know, I'm thinking about quitting. You have a group of other people that are like, what are you talking about? No, like you're almost there. Keep pushing. Think about it as workout partners, gym buddies that are going to push you a little bit harder and give you better results, which is gonna to lead to faster and better results. It's gonna to lead to more excitement, less frustration, and less stress. The key thing here though, is you need to have the right system to generate these type of results. So if you would you like to learn my proven system to create passive income? And obviously I've been sharing this with you this entire video, and, and this is what I think you deserve. I think, honestly, I think everyone right now watching this, you deserve more time, more money. A lot of people out there, they're not willing to invest in themselves like you are. You're willing, you're sitting here, you're investing in yourself, you're learning this stuff. I think you're the type of person that deserves more time, more money. I also don't think you should have to worry about how to pay for your dream life. I think that you should be able to live and travel and do whatever you want to do and not have to think, oh my God, how am I going to pay the bills? And yes, this might take a little bit of work up front, but I think you deserve that. I think you deserve a business that makes money while you sleep. I have this. Let me tell you, it is the greatest feeling to wake up and to look at your bank account and be like, oh, there's more money. There's more money. Now it can get a little addicting because you start checking your stats every couple hours and you're seeing the money go up, up, up. And it's pretty cool. So for instance, on Amazon, you're seeing like, wow, I got five sales today. Now I got 10 sales. Now I got 15 sales. So I do have to warn you that can get a little addicting, but I think you deserve a business and a product that you love, something that you're excited to work on. I mean, take a second here. How many people do you think, and maybe this is you, how many people, and do you wake up 
excited to work on what you have to work on? And if the answer is no, that needs to change. Like you should be excited. Remember when you were a kid and you'd wake up excited to go work on some project? That's how you should feel about your business. That's how you should feel about your life. And that's what I think you deserve. So my question is now, you've learned a lot of stuff from me so far in this whole video, but Will you join my Amazon FBA program? Let me share a little bit about the program. First off, it's over 117 step-by-step -step lessons. That's a $1,000 value easily. I probably could charge more than that. I've seen people that sell courses that are way inferior to my course charging more money. Also, we have live weekly Q&A calls. And every week, it's either me or one of my coaches on the call. And you can ask us all the questions you want. And anytime you get stuck, you can ask us a question. And get your question answered right away. Most people fail because they get stuck and they don't know what to do. Eliminate that. Uh, honestly, this, again, I could probably charge $1,000 for. And right now, this is a limited time. I'm actually probably going to stop. I'm legitimately going to stop this soon. Uh, I have lifetime access to the weekly Q&A calls. I'm going to probably change that to year access only. But if you're watching this video right now, that offer is still good. Lifetime private access to a Facebook mastermind group. And the cool thing about this Facebook mastermind group is it gives you access to all the different other students that are part of this program. And when you go to launch your product on Amazon, you can say, hey guys, I launched my product. Would you mind buying it and leaving reviews? And that's gonna get you a bunch of sales from day one. You get to be part of this community that we have of other passion product sellers. I'm also gonna give you a ton of step-by-step -step checklists to start your Amazon business. Easily could charge $100 for that. Two free one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with either me or a coach. And this is going to shortcut your results because a lot of people, they get stuck and they start following a plan, but I'll talk with them or one of my coaches will talk with them and we realize, oh my gosh, we can actually speed up your results. Easily could charge $500 for this, but obviously with the program, we're including it. it basically, what we're doing here is we're, we're creating an entire bundle to make this as much of a no-brainer. We're also going to throw in Google Ads course, a YouTube course, a Facebook course, all kinds of stuff, you know, and... Honestly, we could charge 6,000 bucks for all this stuff individually. And if you want to get more information about the passion product formula, click the link down below. We have a double guarantee on this program. First off, you have a 30 day money back guarantee and a 365 day guarantee. Let's talk about this. The first guarantee I have is I will pay you $1,000. If you join my Amazon FBA program right now and you go through it, you follow all the steps, you launch a product. If you don't make at least $1,000 in your first year, I will pay you $1,000. That's how much I believe in this program. And again, I'm trying to make this a no-brainer situation. There's also a 14 days unconditional money back guarantee, meaning if you join this program today, if for any reason in the first 14 days, you say, you know what, this isn't for me, all you gotta do is send me an email, we'll give you 100% of your money back. So uh, I guess warning time is a factor for this. Like this isn't an offer I'm gonna have forever. As I mentioned, there, there's limited spaces available. 10 spots available. Um, I do open it up just as a side tangent. I do open up the program every few months and I will usually if I open it up, if there's 50 spots, but right now, if you do join, I'm going to give you as a extra bonus, the live sessions from the 2022 passion product live. It's 10 extra hours of content. AJ, in fact, did an hour long talk talking about TikTok. Say that five times fast. He did an hour long talk talking about how he used TikTok to raise over $100,000 on Indiegogo. The only way to get that is by joining the program now with this special offer. I don't usually give that. Also, as another bonus, everyone that joins right now for the next, well, until midnight right now is entered for a chance to win a year-long subscription to Helium 10. So I'm closing registration tonight at midnight. And what I've seen is people don't value things that are for free. I have a free Amazon FBA course on YouTube. And the success rate of people that watch that video is a tenth of what it is for people that join my program. And that's something I want you to think about is how do you guarantee success? Well, one thing is you commit. And you can think about this as almost a refundable deposit because if you go through the program and you launch a product, you're either gonna get make your money back by Amazon paying you and making money off your Amazon business or I will pay you. There's a link down below if you wanna join the program and click on that link. You have until midnight tonight to join and I hope to see you in the program.